Yeah, 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 man. You already know what the fuck it is, man. DJ Jerry, aka the voice of the streets. It's that motherfucking mix at Trevor's radio, man. I gotta go to the building. Dr. V, man. What's happening, man? Nigga? I, I, man, we're gonna be cussing because I just got saved. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just no, what's right. up, man? <laughs> what's good, man? Yeah, man, man. I've been admiring you, man. Of course, I, I know your dad, man. I know the lineage. Um, I'm a fan of, you. of both you and the culture of DJing. So it's cool, man. Long time coming. Yeah. And, and unfortunately, people talk about podcasts. Yeah. About me coming on or their radio shows, but yeah. I rarely get actually. You followed up. Yeah. And you weren't playing. <laughs> I was like, man, when? I think next week. I was like, damn. Okay. <laughs> all right. I was like, dude, dude, for real. I'm yeah. like, all right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we, Mo- Milwaukee is the king of, man, we got to do something. Now that we gotta do, we gotta do something. We gotta collab. We gotta da da da, and we don't always follow through. Yeah, we don't follow through a lot. That's because some niggas don't be serious, dog, all the time. But like, I do this like I do this every day, bro. Then like, it just like Doc B. I was like, because I ain't gonna lie. You see, I, I respect you, dog. Like, I, oh, I sure. was about to interview Booba first, but I was like, man, hell, <laughs> right. I, like even though Booba, no, my guy, no, shout, no, out Booba, like shout out Booba, shout out Booba, shout out Booba. But you saying for seniority? Yeah. Facts. I yeah. was like, before yeah. I interviewed Booba. It ain't too many, it ain't too many before me. No, I <laughs> <That makes sense. laughs> But I but no, Booba, Booba that, that that new torch. That's that torch. Mm-hmm. To the next dude. I mean, yeah, I th- he probably thirty something now. Yeah, he he, he over thirty. Yeah, that's yeah, what's over up. thirty. Yeah, that's what's up. I mean, I don't know cats want their names. Yeah, <laughs> their ages out there. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm the old man. I'm so used to being called old. Yeah. But I had little spots of gray hair since, since I was fourteen. Okay. So yeah, so that's shit. crazy. Yeah, but you ain't that old. You you more you was like you at least I don't want to say your age, but I know you about my pop's age, right? Uh, yep. Yeah, so yeah, yep. you about my pop's age. Niggas, cats be older than me. <laughs> they be talking. They be talking. They just try and rely on it because I've been around so long. My first party was 1981. Dang. So I've been doing it 42 years. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Sophomore, sophomore year of tech. Tech, okay. But I I, I had to leave tech because uh, I couldn't change a carburetor and shit. <laughs> I don't want to build a vase, a vase. I don't want to. Do, I mean, I, I definitely ain't shitting on tech. Right. That's right, why right. I, I chose to go there. Okay. But uh, I wanted to play football, basketball, and do academics. Mm-hmm. I did not want to change. I did not want to change a tire. Or I didn't want to, you know, build a sconce. Fuck that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah. like, I, I left and went to Vincent. Where we taught you how to dress. Yeah. You see the swag. You see the swag on me. You can feel it. Yeah. Feel yeah. It. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, yeah. You probably ain't got those. What's going on, man? You probably ain't got those. <laughs> you probably ain't got those, yo. Nah, them Not ones, in that them size. the ones, That's dog. Brewers, yo. The what's viewers good? ones, The viewers nigga? ones, yo. <laughs> man, what's good? No, but you said, like you said, man, uh, oh, 1981 oh. was your first uh, time you DJ. Like, how did you even get into, like, DJing, period? Um, That's funny. Uh, I... And both both of these cousins, both of these main cousins, mm-hmm. Kenny and Jimmy Townsend, yeah. they just they just both passed away over the last year. Wow. Or so. They they was like kinda like my babysitters. Okay. Me and my sis. And um as I got older, seven, eight, nine, you know, I come, coming to the point where I wasn't gonna get babysitting anymore. This is what this is what I said at the <laughs> at at their funerals. Mm-hmm. Um you can't hear a pin because my family's kind of religious, <laughs> okay. but they still they cuss and all that stuff yeah. at home, but of course not at church. Right. So I said, um, I have a positive drug story. <laughs> and then everybody going, okay. <laughs> First of all, they were like, this nigga. Because this, 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 cause I'm, a, I'm a talker. Yeah. I'm, a talk, I'm a talker and I keep it 100. I went, I went to my, I did my father's funeral. Did my father, like, man, like it was a gig. I went to my, I went to my father's <laughs> funeral. But, um, yeah, so, um, at the father, so, you know, just as a, as a backdrop on how I'm not scared to speak on things. Right. Um, I try not to be outrageous. I ain't trying to be shocking. Um <laughs> I ain't trying to be I oh my God, I can't believe it. I'm not I'm not Kanye in this shit. I'm like, no, I'm more like I'ma keep it one hundred. Yeah. But I'm gonna make you feel a little uncomfortable because I tell mostly and it's mostly women I have to tell this to, I'm gonna be the realest nigga you ever met, really? you ever dealt with as far as being a like a dude. Mm-hmm. Or, or just as far as being your, you know, your boyfriend or somebody on on a date, I'm not gonna bullshit you. I'm not, I'm not gonna talk baby talk to you, but I'm gonna talk for real to your baby. <laughs> really? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I ain't, now, nah, yeah, nigga, where the chips? I ain't gonna be like that. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> nigga, you want the pacifier or not? I'm not gonna, not ignorant like that. But all that, <laughs> all that shit. Nah. No, 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 nah. that's not me. Nah. All right, back to the point. So <laughs> me, and, <laughs> crazy, dog. me and pop. So yeah. yeah, so pop. Now pop, this after a dedicated life of Methodist church. At St. Matthews, it's like a, this like dude, um, you know, being there. So night he did, he in the casket. Yeah, I'm at the things, you know, the two minute speech or whatever. Right, and I go, I don't want to, 
I don't want to offend, but I don't want to pretend. Okay. And what I mean by that, and everybody went, well, is he really not his dad or something? Or, mm-hmm. No, I was like, I said, um, I don't know where my father is right now. Right. Everybody like to do that thing where they be like, and I'm not talking, I'm not shitting on nobody else right now. Right. I'm talking about me. So me personally, I said, look, um, I don't know where he is. I hope he's in another, a better place. I hope he's up there looking down. Those, you know, whatever. It is. You know, I said I didn't make it sarcastic like that. But I said, <laughs> I don't know. I said, look, Rock D, DJ Rock D. Yeah. Rest in peace. Respect. Um, He had a um Catholic and a Indian style, Native American. They don't call them Indians because mm. they're not, they not Indian. They're Native American. With, with, with dust and powder and feathers and, and a Catholic thing. Uh, my, my other guy's a Muslim. They yeah. do what they do. There's different. I got people that's, that's atheist or agnostic. And they still good people. Right. So my thing is, I don't know. And and I said, I said, well, I don't know. And I ain't never been dead to find out what happens. So you know what I'm saying? So you can hear a pin drop in this mug. The big ass, you big ass shirt. You hear a pin drop in this mug. So I said, so I said, so. But no, again, no disrespect. But I hope he is where you know. I hope that. I hope it is true. I hope yeah. there's the, the gates and the whole nine and and all that. But it's far. But if you expecting me. <laughs> to get up here and go, I know he's up there looking down on us, and he knew I would wear this jacket. I'm not gonna, right, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude, you he's his favorite glasses. That I was going, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He told me, uh, somebody told me a little bit. All right, I'm being an asshole. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, being, I'm being an asshole because I was nervous as hell about doing it because <laughs> I, was ner- I, was, I was nervous because I didn't want to disrespect his legacy and I didn't want to make my mom and other people in the church feel uncomfortable. So, I don't want you to feel uncomfortable, but and we, I think we bullshit and fake a, a lot, and then that continues the bullshit. Yeah. We talk about you behind your back, this, that, and the other, but we nod and say it's all good mm-hmm. in your face, mm-hmm. and then we as a people don't move forward because I am an activist. We'll get into that shit. I'm, a, I'm an activist. I'm a conscientious person, okay. but I'm the conscientious person that still goes to the strip club. So I'm not. I don't. Well, excuse me. I'll DJ in the strip club. I don't go, but I don't. Okay. I don't judge you if you go to the strip club. It's legal. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I wish they would legalize prostitution. I'm. You can put that on camera for show. I wish they would. <laughs> I wish they would legalize it because I want to take you off the street. Look, I don't do weed and I don't do prostitution. Right. But I wish you would legalize it because then we got in like the bunny ranch in Nevada. Then everybody test it. Everybody know what's happening. We good. I want to do the weed because I'm not now nah, the coke. I'm. Well, I don't know if we need cocaine, but I'm just Hell saying. No. No, I don't think we need that. These niggas, no. my boys on prescriptions, <laughs> fucking up, robbing CVSs, right. driving the wrong way on alcohol. <laughs> All right, but I want it just so I can pay for the piles. You right. know, keeping the gangster with you. Yeah. But I want it. I want it, and most people get mellow off off weed. But that, but I want it. I want it regulated so we can make money off of. It. Okay, that's what I would like to do. But that's all another story. So we coming back full circle to, um, the, did I lose my own tangent? Which was. Yeah. Um, just talking about things that might be uncomfortable yeah. to people, mm-hmm. and and I just understand that I'm not I'm not scared to have those conversations. Yeah, that are that are. In, in fact, if, if you my my personal woman, I always tell her like you can ask me anything. You can right. talk to me about any anything. There's no there's no question I'm gonna dodge right. unless I think you can't handle it. And at that point, I'm gonna say I don't think you can handle that the answer to that. Which everybody just think that, that that means you're cheating. You are dicking down somebody. It's like no, not necessarily. They just might be, you know, what but, I do. Uh, but no, you ain't. Oh, okay, no, okay, no, okay, no, okay. no, no, you good. I no, thought you pointed at something. No, but I'm saying I'm <laughs> doing more talking to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm, but I, I wanted to say, say chime in on what you said. But you see how you, you see how you said that. Uh, you was like you would tell them like if you feel like they can't handle it, you would tell them like, man, I ain't want to tell you this shit because I feel like you can't handle. It. That's gonna cause more problems because they be like, oh yeah, you look less of me. Like you look at this type of shit like. It's gonna go off of something entirely different from right. literally. I can't say what I'm about to say because I know you. Like I know right. you can't handle this shit. Like, and um, you you're right, but by that time, depending on how deep you are in with me, mm-hmm. you know that I didn't already probably told you that. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying you didn't already. Sh- the reason why I'm coming up with that is because I seen you display situations you can't handle. You know, you you know blew up at the restaurant at the person. I'm like, we're out of. They're out of what? We already had a restaurant, baby. Hold on, let's just let's just talk to him. Yeah. Let's do, you know, say, oh my guy, my guy. You know, while and I'm like, you know what, man, we ain't gonna. I'm gonna meet you after you go out, yeah. mate, and I'm yeah. gonna meet you at, at the. Night. So yeah, you you're right. It causes 
<laughs> it call it causes issues. It, it, it's not so much that I'm trying to be outrageous, and it's not so much that I'm trying to start anything. Is but you'll say to yourself in times of in, in times of confusion, you you'll never have to question yourself. Like, man, is that Doc? Why would Doc do that? That's what, you know, what I'm saying so. You know, usually if they be like, oh, Doc B ripped off somebody, a dude smacked the girl around town, or you know, something, whatever. Dude got <laughs> eight million babies or something like that. <laughs> Mo- most people gonna be like, man, Doc B. No, nah. they're gonna be like, no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you, if you, if you think about your integrity and you think about your reputation, um, and the 48 Laws of Power say guard your reputation with your life, <laughs> like guard it with your life, like that. That means something. That I mean, of course, people can always start a rumor. Yeah. Guess who tried to talk to me? That's the number one thing I hate the girls do. Guess who tried? To, I'm supposed to, bitch. I'm supposed to try to get at you. <laughs> right. He got a whole wife at home, bitch. You don't know what the situation is, though. Maybe it's Will Smith. So what? Maybe it's Monique. So yeah, I mean, not so what if you care about it, but really you ain't doing it because you wholesome. You doing it because you want to start some shit and be that that motherfucker at the salon. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You want to be you want to be the motherfucker, bitch. I see. You. I see. You. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Pastor. So and going going back to my dad. Going back to my dad. Two yeah. thi- two things happened after I said that. That was interesting. The first thing that happened was the pastor. And I should call him out. The pastor went, oh, because. This is how I say. I said, look, and the reason why I'm that way, in case y'all think I'm being disrespectful, is the reason why I'm the person that would say I don't know what's going on, why I'm, I'm comfortable saying that at his funeral, is because he taught me that. Yeah. He he did a game from he did a game with me when I was like four years old. Yeah. Say, calling it um he called he said that we were doing my math my math equation. Okay. Two plus two is four. Da 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 da. Five plus five. All that. So he, I said. Two plus two is four, and he said, "No, two plus two is five. And I was like, "No, no, it's four, Dad. No, no, it's five. And then we kept going back and forth, and then finally, out of respect, because he he, he kind of bullied me a little bit, I said, "Okay, it's five. And he said, "No, it isn't." And he said, "And you shouldn't change that when you know it's true." So what he 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 you go you might say I'm making too much out of this, but what he did was. He he made us be, me and my sister, be respectful of our elders, yeah. but not to the point where you would go against your integrity and your better mind. So what what you what you, the balance that you do, the balance that he did with that, and my mom backed him up on is, mm. that's when the uncles touch you in the wrong place, yeah. and I, and whoever do something wrong to you and make you do something you don't want to do, you could either you either feel empowered to say no. Or you feel empowered to come back and say something later on. Mm-hmm. Then how many kids and went through whatever. Mm-hmm. And I, I applaud them constantly over that. Yeah. Both of my parents gone now. So yeah. I get a little teary eyed on it. That's when I went like lifestyle. I do it for my mom. <laughs> I do it for my daddy. The I do it for my dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, 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 that's one of my um that's one that's one of the things I do when I DJ a lot. I set it up with a verbiage verbiage mm. on the mic yeah. and then I let the, the song answer it. Yeah, so okay, in that, in that right. and during that hook I'll be like yeah my both of my parents passed you know what shout out to you you got a good parents you got a good relation with your dad and your mom you know what when I do this shit I and then like, I do it for my dad yeah, I do it for my oh that is Quan ain't it yeah, Rich I just know it's Rich Gang I just know it's yeah, Rich yeah, Gang yeah, yeah, I just know it's Rich Gang but I didn't know which one who which one was on what at that point yeah. but yeah real, real shit real shit yeah. so I guess all that was all that and I said here go a tangent the beautiful tangent all this was Coming back to my cousin's funeral, because you said all this is about how I started. Mm-hmm. So now, audience, stick with us. <laughs> stick with me. Mm-hmm. They're like, Doc, you can't do it. I'm gonna talk radio down. Like, dude, they be like, dude, they got I'm, on tr- I'm on truth one on one. Yeah, yeah. So they be like, dude, you be man, stay on the topic, fam. I'm like, really, I am, my nigga. You, you I'm gotta tell the whole. Somewhere. Yeah, this man, this roll with me, nigga. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a beautiful ride. Yeah, it's a beautiful ride. Just shit. keep your arms and arms inside the motherfucking cab, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight. Put on your seatbelt, nigga, yeah, or take it off. Fuck it. You want to die? <laughs> All right. So anyway, back to the point. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, they're just gonna get back to the deal. They're gonna be like, mm-hmm. that nigga, I, knew it. "I knew it." But anyway, so I'm at my 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 cousin's funeral. They about ten years older than me, okay. about ten and ten and twelve years older than me. And at both of them, I said the same thing. I said, first of all, they y'all, they stayed across the street from King, and still somehow was late to school. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I didn't, I didn't, I said, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Nope. Yeah. I said, but no. I said, when y'all ask me, y'all think I'm a good DJ. I think I'm pretty good. Most people say I'm the shit. Mm. And the reason why I know about all that funk 
is because at seven, eight, nine, nine, seven, eight, nine, ten years old, they would be getting high with weed and the, and had the album covers when you had to sift the uh, the seeds out. Okay. While they rolling, and guess who got to play the uh, the, the turntable? You, me, yeah. And I didn't <laughs> like the whole album, so when the album would go, when it, when a song would go off. And another song would come on, I turn the volume down and take the needle on that. That also got my hand steady. So like it began so when I got the mess with turntable, yeah. it made me drop it right on thing because if I was try I mean, I'm trying to sneak it because they might be like, let it play. And I'm like, I either I might not want to play this song that you hear on the radio every time. Exactly. I might not want to hear that one. I might want to hear a B side or I'm or the song just might be foul. It might be an album cut that's foul. So I just be in my opinion, I turn down and be like, Man, what you? They be like, "What you doing, cuz?" I'll be like, oh, "I'm just, you know, it's all good." And then I turn it, turn it back up. So even right now, if you if you get in the car with me, back, you know, now it's punch, it's punch in. But usually when you punching in and doing the other ones for the radio, like when you used to tune it, mm. I you'll always turn the volume down okay. before so it don't blast in and bring it back up. But back to the point. So once I would do that, them and they friends, yeah, they might be getting high or might have been reading Bibles, um, whatever they were doing. <laughs> Whatever they were doing, <laughs> they all went, you know what? Damn, I do. I like that. Sh- oh, what's that? Oh, that's Rumpel Steelskin, Parliament. Oh, okay. All right, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I thought everybody else playing Aqua Boogie. Yeah. You know, okay, dude playing the, uh, the Rumpel Steel. Okay. And in fact, on that same album is a song called uh, Parliament Funkadelic. is my favorite group. Yeah. So I will be referring to them. Shout somehow. out George Clinton, man. It's George Clinton, man. Come on, the greatest. You know what I'm me, my, hey, my stepbrothers be like, Earth, Wind, and Fire, baby. I'll be like, Earth, Wind, and Fire make you not want to eat red meat. For real. And meditate. <laughs> but I'm like, nigga, you want that shit? You want to feel like you when about you, to go party? When you want to go? When you want to? When you want that funk, Nick? Man, please, Probably. James Brown, because he's the originator of yeah. a lot of the Parliament rhythm section and the horn section. Like George Clinton stole. George Clinton just took a lot of motherfuckers and did it. But what he did with it was so advanced. Yeah, Mo- ships flying. The mothership's flying at 74, yeah. underwater, but not getting wet. <laughs> Flashlight, cloning. Clones? Yeah. The clones of Dr. Frankenstein? Nigga, ain't nobody doing that. What different about do fries come with that shape? Fries? Oh, shit. Yeah. What's good? Come on, man. For sure. So, <laughs> so, you see why they don't like it. They be like, dude, you're taking too long on the radio. <laughs> you, we're, still, we're still on how you started DJing. Right. So, it went from... <laughs> It went from that. Dude, you was right. You said, man, this might be a long one, dog. But uh, I said, yeah. I was like, yeah, nigga, you don't know. I was like, yeah, nigga, maybe you didn't know. <laughs> so, um, so, <laughs> so that turned into me trying to tape on a eight track, like eight track, eight track tapes, like trying to make my own tape. So you try and record on eight track or cassette where you hear the radio. Like, I mean, well, shit. If my cousins or they friends, I got to give a big one to a. Guy named Bernard Cole. Yeah. Unfortunately, most of them is is passed away too. But Kenny, Kenny and Jimmy Towns and my cousins, mm-hmm. Ronnie McNeely, you know, uh, Lance yeah. Trailer. And um, but there's a guy named Bernard Cole that was a friend of theirs. Mm. He would talk in the intro. Mm. Like, if you could imagine, yeah, you know, going down, it's your boy, da da da. You know, you, a funky so, yeah, the radio. Yeah. yeah, like the radio. Mm. You know, I'm cool, I'm doing this and I'm doing that. You know what? Just lay back, man. It's your boy Cole. Yeah, it's okay. your boy da 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 da. Okay. You know, writing this shit on, write it all out on the, on the eight track tape with the with the with the on the playlist, yeah. and then doing that shit. Yeah. That shit just started sticking in you. Mm-hmm. I mean, then you listen to Parliament, dude. dude it wasn't the stuff in W. All yeah. that shit was like pimp. Yeah. Slick ass pimp talking ass shit. Cause super and fly. I was like, yeah, that shit is just yeah, mm-hmm. super fly Mac, mm-hmm. that type of shit. So you doing it, but you doing it with the music, and it's like, and then that shit is funky as hell in the background. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So even on that, and back to, I just want to say, it, Parliament got a lot of samples you don't know that people use. So, for instance, on that that same Rumpel Steelskin Aqua Boogie album <laughs> yeah. is one of those funky things, and um, it's like, um, shit, the uh, Humpty Dance is on there. Damn. The 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 baseline to the Humpty Dance and um <laughs> um. How you do that? Just to that how, <laughs> how, how you do that? How you do that? There's on it. It's called one of them funky things. Okay. You go doom 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 doom. Ah yeah dun, dun. yeah. But you yeah. might not like the whole song, but you go to that break. You like, oh shit, that is that. Doom 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 doom. So it's like it's fucking Master P. You know what I'm saying? How you do that there? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, you uh a lot of the sh- man, please. So they got so they got too many samples. Definitely. But it, but the, but the bottom line is, I just I like Parliament. I love Parliament. I come from that era of when you ate your cereal box, when you ate your when you ate your cereal, mm. 
you had the box with all the colorful shit and the prize. Yeah. So they had little cartoons and shit. So you watching the Tony the Tiger, you watching mm-hmm. the Lucky Charms dude, mm-hmm. the Toucan Sam, and all that shit. Mm-hmm. So Parliament was doing shit like that. They would have like naked ladies and different cartoons and pimp dudes talking with little funny sayings on it. Yeah. So I got into that, and then when I did my mixtapes, yeah. everybody else mixtape be like Hot Gems '97. Yeah. My shit be. You you see a cover with a theme on it, the shit like I got one that you know mother it's it's got the South Park chef yeah it's got Kenny yeah. like dying and it's got me <laughs> in, a, in South Park cartoon form yeah like DJ on some turntables that's hard you know what I'm saying that's so hard. and then I got a South and then to go with it I got a South Park intro when okay. dude be like uh, we need we need you to make you honorary doctors no way dude just the doctor <laughs> be in this room so back to the point though back mm. to the point so now we 10, 11 years old I go from doing that. So we had 11, 12, 13 out here. I'm going, now I'm in, I'm going in high school. I'm going from Brown Deer Middle School yeah. in the high school at Tech. And uh, this dude named Emmanuel uh, Jackson, mm. um, dude, sister, I was going, what's your name again? I'm Emmanuel's sister. I'm like, okay, my fault, my fault, baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I was like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, dude hired me for $5. To DJ? $5, $5. Okay. And a ride. I said I needed a ride, too. Okay. I did the man a ride. But five five dollars was to get so I can get another record from Audio Vibe or Audio's <laughs> One Stop. So because the records was like three ninety eight or four ninety eight. So I didn't know. I mean, I, I didn't know. I, so I'm borrowing my stepmother's and my mother's shit. I got a Gerard turntable. I got the I got the uh, component set. It's got the tuner. So it's got the radio. It's got the radio on it, mm-hmm. and then it's got the cassette, and it's got a turntable on top. Okay. Right. Okay. So that means to you DJs out there. There's no mixer. You got two turntables, but you ain't got no mixer. You got so you got you got a phono where you play the turntable is there, and then the extra one is on the aux. Okay. So you got to go. So what? So we back to now. We back to the skills I learned from my my cousin. Okay. So I got to go when the song going off. I got to go phono FM da da da. I got to turn the volume down. Yeah. Phono FM aux. Then I got to drop the needle on the other one. And then I gotta turn the volume back up. Okay. <laughs> be like, Damn, that. dude, you be dude, you be making that shit work. You be making that. How you do that shit? I'm like, nigga, this years and years. That's crazy. I practice. I learned yeah. something new today. Yeah, that shit crazy, right? Yeah. And then and, and what happened is when you travel or you when you when you get a spot on somebody else's shit, they ain't got enough time to take your shit down, and put it up. Right. So you got if you just gonna jump on, you gotta deal with that shit. So nigga, so they stuff be I'm a quit cussing as much. Well, whatever. no, you good. Yeah, this cuss. All yeah. right, fuck it. I was like, shit, I might get on something. But anyway, no, fuck it then. So, when you get on somebody else's stuff, me and New Style talk about this. When you get somebody, you don't know what they, you don't know how they stuff is. They might have an up and down, no, fa- they fader bleeding. So, you got to put the fader in the middle mm-hmm. and go up and down with the volumes. I'm sorry, we confusing the uh, the nine DJs. Oh, nah, yeah. But yeah, you, <laughs> fuck so you, so how it works is each turntable has its own up and down volume. Right. And then, their crossfade makes them blend together. Mm-hmm. So that's how you hear both of them at the same time. But if the fader is messed up, bleeding or whatever, and not working right, you are forced to go just up and down. And when some of the moves we do is where you want to make a sound or a noise or, like, well, let's say Dr. B. You don't want to hear no music. If you don't want to hear any music, when you scratch in Dr. B or Hey or uh, Run DMC, oh, yeah. yeah. When you do that, you have to, and even if you're not a DJ, you can understand this. You have to, um, or James Brown hit me. Mm-hmm. You have to turn off the volume of one, turn up the volume on the other one, and then come right back to that other, right back to that one. Now you got a crossfade. It ain't super easy, but it's easy. Mm-hmm. It's 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 if you as long as you in rhythm, you see. But when your crossfade ain't working right, you gotta go up. You gotta go. You gotta go up, down almost simultaneously. Then down. Up yeah. <laughs> again on the up and down, and you got to do it quick. Otherwise, it's happening at such slow a pace. Then don't, don't nobody care what you're doing. <laughs> Get your dumb ass out of here. <laughs> not a not a not a record that you had on playing too long, or it's playing to the file part that you don't want to hear. So you know what I mean. So it's all man. It's all timing. It's all. I mean, when I when I'm DJing, it's like a. I think like um, it's like chess. Yeah, it's like a chess player is thinking two, three different moves. Mm-hmm. Dep- and especially depending on what his opponent does. So I'm doing whatever. I'm like, they, they, oh, these motherfuckers ain't moving. Or I'm doing this, and now, oh, shit, they disrespected. 
they disrespecting the uh, the girls in there, or they disrespecting the waitress. <laughs> yeah. yeah, bitch, get the da, da, da. all right. Shit, let me let me ease out of that shit. Yeah, put on and some. calm these motherfuckers. Yeah, not but not too much, not too much because check this check this shit out. Mm. If a club owner or somebody be like, stop it, man, they gonna. Fight. I said, look, here's what we gonna do. Don't trip. They then I said, first of all, I'm not gonna panic. Once I start panicking, then everybody then everybody not right now. It's only these motherfuckers are involved. Mm. If I panic. Or you you do too much of a, a, a stop. Y'all need to stop that bullshit and da da da. Now these three, these these five, ten motherfuckers are like, oh, what's going on? Yeah. Oh, now don't fuck with my nigga Jay. Mm-hmm. They weren't even in it. Mm-hmm. So what you what you want to do is keep that shit smooth and a transition. And this is the analogy I use. I do a lot of movie analogies and whatever metaphors. Yeah. So what you do is it's like if you's going off the road a little bit. And you hit that little gravel, like yeah, 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 yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dad, you did. I, I ain't saying you swear, but all right, before swerving, before baselining, nigga. <laughs> right. Oh, why do I even know that? <laughs> right. At damn near sixty, why do I even know about basing? But that's all another story. That's all another story. So <laughs> before the bump stocks, nigga. Right. All right. So when you do that, if you if you if you cut your wheel real t- real real quick mm. to get back on and panic, you gonna spin out fish tail. You mm-hmm. might end up in a motherfucking ditch. For real. So what you do is you go, eh, Dad, it's, I, this straight, y'all chill the fuck out. Mm-hmm. I'm coming back on. You yeah. just come, you just ease your ass yeah. back on. You done did it, especially over on 19 by Atkinson on yeah. that on ramp, nigga. You done did that shit with that short ass ramp. The bull- fuck, <laughs> design that bullshit. Yeah. But anyway, that's all. Was, again, excuse my tangent again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I hate that shit. You getting on? You better. You gotta turn your neck. You gotta look forward. Mm-hmm. Hope this nigga don't stop. Hope this. Hope this truck don't run you down. Right. But um. <laughs> Yeah, it's it, it. I try and be smooth with it, and not panic and and make. I, I want everybody to have a good time. Yeah. So I see your daughter and her friends over there, and I'm like, they're not having a good time. I'm like, damn, okay. What? Hey, what's up? Y'all straight? And they'll be like, oh, we, you know, flashlight is cool. My dad liked that, and my grand, <laughs> my granddad liked flashlight. But I, I say, oh, okay, watch what I do with it. I'm gonna do something to it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna do Ted Roof all, and then I'm gonna mix in King Coulter. Cause they're in the same, <laughs> yeah, they're in the yeah. same speed. They, yeah, what, what you like? I like Kendrick Lamar. You like Kendrick Lamar? Watch this shit. Yeah. No, you know what I'm saying. So yeah. I, I try and figure out. It's like a little, it's like a little brain game where mm. I want, I want everybody. Yeah, they be like, you can't get everybody. I'm like, well, yeah, shit, nigga, can. I'm a tr- I can, I can try. You can. I mean, you know what I'm saying. You could yeah. try, nigga. You ain't gotta. I mean, it's almost impossible to get everybody all the time because you'll fuck up the rest of the class fucking up with with these four fuck ups over here, but. Sometimes you just need to change your game plan and in- include something that you didn't. You know, I do it all the time, like with Spanish music or something like that. Yeah, you know, yeah. like so. One of my, I do Selena with uh, Benjamins. Yeah. So then, yeah. Uh, so then, he's like, man, oh, okay. oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. oh shit, all right, nigga. all right, nigga. Yeah, that's all right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, what I'm so yeah, you do the combo, and it, it's, it's. I don't want to make it too simple because all them TikTok videos and shit where these niggas where it's already pre-planned. They don't always work. You gotta, um, you gotta really think about that. I don't think that's moving. Oh no, we good. Okay, we all good. right, cool. Oh, okay, yeah, you good. My fault, boss. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I yeah. got this, dog. I got yeah, you, dog. yeah. I got you. Don't tell I you how to drive. You. Don't yeah. tell, you tell me. You tell me. Don't <laughs> yeah, tell you how to drive. Yeah, nigga, why you drive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, coming yeah, back, yeah. straight this shit out. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, that's it. That's it. So, so yes, yeah, so I went from that DJing on on the you know, moms and those. Components. The problem is we didn't have YouTube or tutorials, or mm. we didn't have no. Uh, there was no D, no DJ lessons. Wolf D, a uh, friend of mine, DJ Wolf D, yeah. said one time he went to the uh, music store where you buy keyboards and drum machine, mm. and he said, "Man, I'm trying to figure out how to sample. I need a sampler. Yeah, I think I think that's what I need." And he said, "Oh no, that's not what they do." He said, uh, "He said no, they get a band and they play it all over again, and it's true, but it wasn't true." They did. They did make samplers. Yeah. You do the, I mean, everybody knows it now. Yeah. But I'm saying they got. I'm just telling you the level of knowledge that was going on. Motherfuckers didn't understand the rap game. They didn't know what the fuck was going on. Mm. Yeah. Sugar Hill and them was playing over the songs, but a lot of motherfuckers was just they just sampling. Yeah. I mean, and just sampling is the wrong way to say it because it's, it's some hell of a hell of a sampler yeah. sampling going on. Yeah. With layers and different shit, the enhanced shit. You know what I mean? Even with like Ice Cube and NWA oh and stuff like that. Like the, the sampling on there, Dre, dog. Was, Dre is ridiculous. I thought, yeah, Dre and Yellow, yeah. dog, nasty, bro. Like, ridiculous. 
Cause they had some. Cause I was listening to it one time. Like I was like, dude, that's a fucking um, digital underground song. They had. I forgot what. I forgot. I should have wrote it down, dog. But just listen right. to all the samples. Like they cut one piece in and cut a whole another sample yeah. on the top of that. You it, know what I'm saying? Man, it'll be the dramatics. It'll be the temptations. It'll be uh, blood, sweat, and tears. It'll be. It'll, <laughs> yeah. It'll, yeah, it'll be a rock song. It'll be an old. Dun, 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 dun. It'll be an old Sly Family Stone song. Yeah. And then it'll be, you know, yeah, no, no doubt. But that's all that funk, and then that's all the stuff back to the back to my cousins. Mm. I'll bring it all back home to my cousins yeah. and the weed, mm-hmm. and it's, and the game of Simon in the dark. If, if, <laughs> hey niggas, who play Simon. You know the game Simon. Yeah, Simon with, the, says, with, yeah. the, with the Simon with the Simon board. Yeah. Everybody put five ten dollars under each board you know, under each uh, color, yeah. and everybody just play against each other. You try to fake each other out, and whoever the last one standing get the whole money. Get that's all right. Okay. Yeah, that shit was dope. That shit okay. was dope. That shit was dope. Yeah, Literally. I never had a plate of with money though. Yeah, like, that we... shit was dope. That mm-hmm. shit was dope as fuck. That shit was dope. Cause you fake a motherfucker out. So your shit go dun 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 dun. So you'll go dun dun and then you'll wait. Cause you know you got another one left, yeah. but you hope they jump in. Yeah. So yeah, it's like yeah. So it's like the original bluffing. Yeah. Well, like, well that ain't the original bluffing. Obviously, bluffing is in cards and other shit. But right. that shit was that shit was dope. That shit was seriously dope. Oh, it's fun. But um, yeah, that's how I started, and um, it just kept progressing. And I just, I just been hungry to this day. I'm still hungry. Yeah. Like so, I still want to know about who did I say? Nudie. Yeah, uh, Nudie. Yeah. He's like the greatest, the greatest show on earth. So I'm like, <laughs> you, my ego don't like that because I think I'm the best. <laughs> I'm like the greatest show on earth. All right, hold on. Who is this nigga? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but in a good way. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Course, yeah. New styles in my ass. Like man, a motherfucker. Shout out New Styles. Yeah. Man. DJ New Styles. And, you know, he's, he's a beast. Yeah. So everybody think he gonna tell? I'm like, no. I'm not giving dude. I'm not giving dude my shit. Mm. I ain't done. I ain't yeah. done with this shit. I mean, nah, dude, cold. Yeah. For sure. Then um, El Mazi. Like, I always, Mazi, hear yeah. about, I always heard about dude doing um, mm. concerts and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I want to I meet these cats. Now, in my day, in my day when I was, my age is more prominent when I was younger like them, we wanted to go see the other cats. Yeah. We wanted to go see the Smoking Pachichas and the, whoever, the, you know, Larry K. Miles and Ernie G's and yeah. you know little Mikes. That's why I started Michael Hightowers. Yeah, so, R.P. You, Michael Hightower, man. man it was good. R.P. Rest in peace. Mike. For, for sure. Oh, I mean, shit. Doctor Bot was on the radio when I was like five, six years. And, and no, I didn't get my name from dude. I got my name from Doctor J and Doctor Funkenstein. Okay, I was with that. That's why I got. That's why I got my name. No, my name came from Doctor J. And um, just appreciating this thing. I had a number six on my my thing for dude. Just trying yeah. to, trying to ball. And then I, um, Dr. Funkenstein from uh, George Clinton, okay. Parliament Funkadelic. Yeah. And I said, okay, I'm going to do Doctor, and then B is my last name. Okay. Just started, started my last name. So I figured I'd be my own, which yeah. is why my dad called, by, which is why my dad also said the two plus two is five. He said, don't do that. But he also, he gave me his name, but he gave me a middle name so I wouldn't be a junior. Okay. He did that on purpose so that that way, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it, my yeah. middle name is Elgin. Yeah. And that's why I'm a Lakers fan. Cause it was Elgin Baylor, Elgin so Baylor. they'd be like, "Oh yeah, you copy? You trying to get on with Magic? You trying to get on?" With... Nah, nigga, I was there. Yeah, before I was <laughs> here when Milwaukee traded dude. I was like, "No, I was, I was already a Laker fan, listening to Jerry West wow. on the radio, on the radio." That's I mean, because it wasn't the on TV. So yeah, I was yeah. No, nah, nigga, I, I've been down. Yeah. I've been down. That, that's crazy because like I never forget uh, my pops. Like uh, it was like uh, uh, I don't know if it was home. You got a father. Well, look and at that. Right, go ahead. No, I'll fuck with you. 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 I'm, not, I'm doing that. Hey, I'm doing hey, Me and my guy said we call that an Oprah life. You don't never let the other nigga talk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She'd be like, I'm going to Australia. You gotta love it there. Have you been to the kangaroo? Da, da, da. Like, bitch, we're not, we're not the one talking. We're not the one talking. You're like, yeah, go ahead, man. My fault. Yeah, I keep checking over the whole shit. I'm sorry. No. Uh, that's why man, the truth, was, was like why the ho- truth won't let your ass talk, nigga. Yeah. All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry, boss. V100 wouldn't right, let you talk. Right, it just right. made you mix, dude. No, you just mixed, nigga. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry, boss. No. Go ahead. Pops did what? <laughs> no, the pops. I, mean, I was a child beer, dog. Don't call me an asshole, neither. Don't call you me an asshole, dog. You're definitely an asshole, dog. <laughs> but, no, uh, pops, make a long story short, like, it was like homecoming or something like that. And I was I was going to John Muir, and then oh, I, I, I was like, man, I was like, man, I'm going to the homecoming. And then he was like, man, who they got DJing? And I was like, I don't know. But then that's why I asked the principal, administrator, or whatever. I was like, man, somebody named Doc B. They got Doc B. Uh, he said. They got Doc V. He said, man, when you see that nigga, tell him this, tell him that, tell him this, tell him this, tell him this, tell him this, tell him this. Tell him this. He, he telling me so much stuff oh, to tell shit. you. So I'm like, I was, you know, I'm middle school. So I'm right. like, all right, I'm trying to remember much of this shit as I possibly oh, can. Crazy. So when I went up to you, 
I right, never forget, dog. You was like super cool, bro. You was mixing, playing, and what you was playing. I was like, hey man, you know Tony Doctor Jam. You was like, oh yeah, because yeah. I the only thing I remember you doing. You was like, hey man. You was like basically like from a shorty. You know what oh, I'm for sure. Oh, word, yeah, like word. like you was just like, oh, you was a little dude. Now yeah, you uh, now you be, oh, yeah, that's what's up. Okay. Like, like, like that's what you did to me. He was like, man, tell him I said what up. So I told him he got super geek, man. But that's, then, man, that's what's up. But I swear to God, based off of that. Like, I just became an instant fan. Like, just the little stories he would tell me didn't start hearing. The mixes. Oh, he, man. He used to have mixes over there at that shop on 76 and uh, oh, man, this, man, this, this man. This man. Oh, this yeah, man. Yeah, you used to have, yeah, you have this, uh, sure. mixes there. And I used to buy all the motherfuckers, though. Oh, that's love, Swear to God, man. I used to buy Thank you. Thank you. And then that's what made me think. I was like, I'm going to wait till this nigga get done talking because I, I, I said, I'm starting to shit. <laughs> I'm sparking shit. I'm yeah. sparking shit. I'm sparking it. Because I remember like when you, you know how you said you would mix this song with an old song with a new song. Yeah. That's what made me fuck with you because I'll never forget you had the explosive, the Dr. Dre explosive. And, oh, you, yeah. and you mix that with the, what these bitches want from a nigga. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And it, yeah, and it yeah, went yeah. perfect, though. Yeah. I'm like, duh. Yeah. Like, I, like, cause I was like, I wouldn't even think them fucking songs, like, back then. Right, 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 right. For yeah, sure. Yeah. No, I was no, like, no, no, I, I got even, you. I was like, I don't even think this shit will even go together. But the way you did it, it sounded. I try to get them to talk to I try to get, I like, I like them records to talk to each other. Then I try to jump on the mic, too, and fuck with it. But not on the mixtapes, cause my, I'll tell, they be like, man, why don't you take what you're doing right now? I'll be like, you wanna hear uh, Move Your Car? You got a, a El Dorado? Nah. <laughs> like, just play that. I said, you ain't going to hear that shit. I said, well, thank you. I said, I said, thank you. No, trust me. I'm going to make a studio mix. Yeah. I got studio mixes that you can buy. But yeah, that's nah, that's what's up, man. Yeah. Man, bro. that's love, dude. Yeah, because like, even though- You know, I try and treat people right, man. Like, I Definitely. want to be treated. So yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad I didn't shit on you. No, no you, treated me like a, you treated me like a good kid, bro. Like, okay. you, like, that's you, what's up. You, you ain't talk to me the way you talk to me now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 you tri- oh, yeah. you what, the tri- <laughs> what the fuck you talking about? Okay, all right, all right. Uh, no. But dude, like, I, man, I ain't you, ribbed yet. Right. I ain't, let's see what you're no, but no, you, you got but, some shacks on, nigga. No, go ahead. I fuck, I fuck, I fuck with you. I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Nike flight. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? light, light flight. Flight. You know what I'm saying? No, but Dennis Robbins. I got you. I got you back though. Don't trip. Okay. Don't trip. That's not you. You want to fuck that? You want to fuck the interview up? All right, go ahead. I don't want to get this nigga. Yeah, I'm gonna get him though. And I got niggas breaking in your car while you in here. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you, nigga. All right, go ahead. Trap mixtape trappers, nigga. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. No, like. Man, you, you got a it's fucking hilarious, like a crazy long career, man. Like a lot of DJs that came and gone, man. Like, like, Real like shit. I was, like I said, like you a goat, man. To me, Real shit. you the best DJ to ever come out of Milwaukee. You know what I'm saying? Like in my opinion, like I don't give a fuck about nobody else's opinion. You know what I'm saying? But right. just as far as everything that I've been seeing throughout decades, bro. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. I but, agree, and I agree with you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I, I think I'm the best. That, go no, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> No, man. Fuck, I'm talking. stopping you, for. Yeah, they say I interrupt motherfuckers. They say I be interrupting motherfuckers. I'm stopping you. Motherfucker. Nigga, compliment. You still interrupting. Right. Nigga, you like, I think I'll give you a compliment. Yeah, we ain't gonna never put you on. I'm not even the sixth man on the on the bench. Yeah, they be like, nah, this nigga talk too much. Yeah. All right, go ahead. No, nah, but no, nah, this some shit, nigga. Nigga, oh, nigga, you, she, hey, let can't it out. Can't nobody beat me. L- yeah. All right, go ahead. Let it out. Me. The next question, bro. Uh-oh. Like, I know you been seeing it, bro. Uh, Pac, you know what I'm saying? He been gone. 25 plus years, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, he's shit. still trending, dog. He's still trending. He's still the talk. He's still in the motherfucking conversation. That's crazy. 26 years later, dog. That is crazy. Tupac, dog. Ha- that's Homer Blow's favorite. That's his That's his number one. <laughs> Top five. But yeah. look, but look. I, like, like you You see, I don't know if you've seen it. By the way, I'm not Homer Blow. Motherfuckers be calling me Homer Blow. <laughs> they be calling me Homer Blow a lot. I'd be like. <laughs> yeah. you, know what I, you know what happens then? And I, got, I, t- I told him this. I said, look, man. When motherfuckers do that, I don't like it. They used to call me Paul Davy too. This other yeah. nigga named Paul Davy. But um, what, what then I would do it like you know how mother would be like, hey, are you guys, you guys, uh, you guys dating? And it'd just be your friend, and she'd be like, nah, nah, nah. And I'd be like, hold on, bitch, why are you saying it like? <laughs> why it's disgusting for, at the thought of me being your husband? So I don't want to say it like that. You made it seem like I couldn't be, I couldn't get you or some shit, motherfucker. I'm like, no, nah, I mean, no, nah, just be like, no, nah, you know what I'm saying? So no, nah, I just it. It's just funny that people call me Homer. Yeah. Real yeah. But yeah, Homer, Homer, Shout Homer, Homer dude. Me and Homer, me and Homer, I always argue about uh, Tupac. Yeah. But, 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 but look, now, now you got your chance. I think I ain't stopping you. I ain't saying shit, shit else. Like after this question, I ain't saying shit. You know what I'm saying? You oh, can just, shit. you got the floor. Wow. Make a long story short, bro. Um, 
Pac, you know what I'm saying? Like he trended right now, like the murder is still going on. Like I said, they yeah. uh, arrested, they they searched Keefe D home, found plenty of evidence and shit. But when I was doing my research, bro, like I I, I ran across the V100, you know what I'm saying? Episode the day he died, bro, the day wow. Tupac died. And but before I even Dude. say something, bro, nigga, oh, nigga, I swear to God, on my all my kids, they could die right now. Like I'll never forget. Like I was in the car with my daddy and my mama, like, and me and my brothers in the back seat. And I don't know who was on at the time. Like, I just know when, when Pac died, like, right. I, I heard it. You know what I'm saying? I heard him say, oh, right. yeah, Pac, Pac dead. But it's it's the reaction from my pops that I'll never forget. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I'll never forget his reaction. I think that's why it's a core memory for me because they was like, oh, yeah, Tupac passed away. And we just in the back like, oh, okay. Right. But, but my pops like, we like, don't. It ain't like we know dude. We it, know of dude. We know of him. But we don't know dude. But so, Man, it's hit. Yeah, it's, but, but my, pops, my pops was like, damn he dead like you know what i'm saying like i'll never forget he's like damn he dead like right and it Holy just shit. it just made me feel like kind of you know what i'm saying real talk like kind of crazy but like i said like so he was always in our house you know what i'm saying pops played him right all the time we seen his movies we seen him on a magazine hey, man. man so he was like juice he, he, he was in our he was in our house. bishop yeah and juice <laughs> Even Bernie, Man. even Bernie, nigga. nigga. Even Bernie, nigga. Uh, I, I don't, I don't fuck with him like that. But okay. I know, but I know people do. That's 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 my that's one of my gifts. Right. I, that's that's why I can and that's cool. I can mix my ass up with dude. Yeah. But um, but you know, no, no, he he hit different. My fault. I, you weren't done. Yeah. Or but, are you done? No, I'm ahead. almost. I'm almost here to get this. Okay. One you gonna take the shit? Listen, hot seat. you gonna put me in the hot seat? Yeah. So All look, right, let's, let's go, nigga. The day he died, you know what I'm saying? I am a little scared. <laughs> the day he died, I heard every word you said, bro. You know, so I heard everything you said. Real like, and you ain't wrong for nothing you said. Like, everybody I got their opinion. And everybody ain't meant to like everybody. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, musically, whatever. But uh, I know you said you seen him several uh, different times. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, you, okay, you paid attention. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because people put this shit that uh, Fresh G and Scotty said on it. And I, that was, I, I didn't say what they said, but I had to own it. But go ahead, go ahead. We exactly. got, got so, all kind of death threats and shit. Go <laughs> so, ahead, go ahead, yeah. So you seen him? You seen him several times. Like, mm -hmm. uh, did you ever get to talk to him, or you just um, actually literally seen him? I saw him at. Um, I won't make this long. Sorry, I shouldn't be doing that. Um, <laughs> I saw him at Jack the Rapper. Okay. In '93, so me, Fresh G, who was also Mike Love in Chicago, he's better known as Mike Love in Chicago. Yeah. Um, and Tony Neal. Of yeah, all people. Totally we did. all went down. We all drove down there, um, and I'm bad at directions. I was, I was, I was scared getting to the. I was scared getting here today. I, I got lost. You know, I'm from Milwaukee, so I got us lost. So I had to get in the back seat and, uh, <laughs> um, and get down there. But yeah, he there was there was fighting going on between Death Row and Luke mm. and some other people. It was it, it was just random ass riots. You know, what I'm saying that was going on. And um, what happened was that he. Basically, it, it kept being fights. Not a, not a lot, but enough where they ended up canceling a couple of the uh, the events. And um, basically, Pac got on stage right before a performance or during a performance. And he said out of frustration, man, we need to um, quit fighting each other and, and beat up these white-ass, punk-ass police officers. And um, I, did, I didn't like that on several levels. Like number one, you you you're you're doing like what I described earlier. You're you're adding fuel to a a fire that's already going on. So like when I said in the club, they'd be like, "Cut the music! They're fighting." It's like, no, you don't want to cut the music. You want to ease the music into something else, and you want to try and diffuse quietly. You don't want to cause more attention. So he caused more attention to the fact that things have been going wrong. And by the way, it was it was it was a, still a good, it was still a great experience. Um, it was my first time in Atlanta, and it was a good experience. But what he again, what he did was he got on stage after a couple of fights that happened. Yeah. Um, shit, shug all them motherfuckers. So everybody was there. We they'd be doing panels, and all of a sudden, in the middle of the panel, be like a big ass riot fight. Everybody like you know that. And it's one thing to be in one in Milwaukee, but it's another thing to be in one where you're not from there and you don't know who's doing what. Mm -hmm. And who's got what, or who might stab you? You know I mean, you don't know. You don't know what's happening. Mm -hmm. um, I was in another one, by the way, with that that one. If you saw the NWA movie, the Ice Cube, um, the Lynch Mob, and Above the Law, you saw him coming down the escalator. Yeah, I was at that too. Wow. I was at that too. Yeah. <laughs> so that was the first one. That was the New Music Seminar in New York. Okay. So I was there too. 
But with Pac, I saw him make that announcement that, hey, we need to quit fighting each other. Oh, positive. Let's stop fighting each other and let's punch these white ass police officers. So yeah, so he so he came with the you know with the I said, Oh, okay, man, damn, dude coming positive. You know, I'm not knowing this nigga is like twenty two, twenty three years old. People say that all the time. I got a nephew, this is a cold DJ, uh, Mill City. He always say that, man, look, man, dude, people catch young man. John Morant, you yeah. know what I'm saying, Giannis, you know, whatever. They twenty years old. I'm like, unfortunately, in my day, nineteen twenty, we mature. Okay. I'm I'm watching you know, lack of a better word. I'm watching I'm watching somebody with dope money. Yeah. At seventeen they give me their car and they let me you know what I'm saying? They making sure I'm making sure their kids get to school and all that. And I ain't taking it off and running off I might have did something, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but I really but really you know what whatever you leave there is gonna be there. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know what where I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be at that thing. We were just, in my opinion, more mature. Mm. Um y'all got more on y'all now, but yeah. y'all taking on more. The 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 here I go off on the tangent again. All these amenities and all these microwaves and things to save you time. What it was supposed to do, if you got a remote control, if you have a remote for your, if you got remote control, if you got a remote for your, your uh, TV or yeah. whatever. Okay, they doing that so you ain't got to get up and go to the. They you can do that so you ain't got to get up and go change the channel. Yeah, but. What we did in that in its place, while we doing that, we filling it with something else. Mm. We texting, we talking, we da da da. We making cookies. We we doing about. It's like because we do that overall, we still frazzle, and you really don't know how to. You really don't know how to really um, multitask anyway. You say you do, you just doing a bunch of shit, which is why if you look, if you look, don't look too hard because niggas be get road rage. Look, look at motherfuckers. Even when you're on the freeway, motherfuckers eating. Motherfuckers all in their phones. Texting. Yeah, they texting like a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying you can't do it sometimes, but I don't know. Motherfuckers is just blatant. Motherfuckers crossing the street is doing whatever they're doing. We buy Pac, right? My fault. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyway, dude did that. Then I saw a dude at the rave. Yeah. Dude at the rave. Dude said, man, man, fuck all that punk ass GD shit and da 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 da. He's saying this shit on stage. And now we we in a short, we in the, we not in the big room upstairs. We on that. And it's a nice size room. Don't get it twisted. You still get five to eight hundred motherfuckers in there easy. Yeah. You know, on that middle floor. As soon as you come in, straight ahead with the sidebar off of it. He doing that shit. These niggas from the they trying to get on stage and fuck this nigga up. Right. They trying to fuck with dude. Mm-hmm. They do come down. My guy's saying like, my guy's saying to him, I'm walking backstage too. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just I like to be the voice of reason. Yeah. Doing uh, Mr. Shakur, no, no motherfucker, you don't know me. Da 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 da. So that's how he's acting. So by the time it came to that mecca. By the time it came to that one, I was like, man, I don't want no parts of this shit. Because you seen Some, what Yeah, I was like, this nigga, dude gonna do something. Mm-hmm. So you already, you are, and unfortunately, with black rap shows, you are already a little bit concerned. Yeah. I think uh, Drake, when we taping this, Drake gonna be here. This yeah. Week. You, yeah. You, you not super scared, but you thinking to yourself, I gotta account for every single nigga. You know what I'm saying? When Future came, I gotta account for every single black person or every single person Instead, hope they're not crazy or hope some be. A lot of times, it's not even the people in the concert. Sometimes it's the parking lot pimps, the hustlers that just waiting for the let out, mm-hmm. and then they come fuck with you. Yeah. Hey, baby, what's up? Oh, bitch, you don't know me. Nah, her guy, nigga, fuck you, nigga. Da 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 da. Next thing problem. you know, next thing you know, the shit popping off. You know what I'm saying? Ah. Oh, we hanging out the window, da, da, da. you know, whatever. I'm gonna leave that alone. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm trying to sound like the old dude, get off my grass. But yeah, with Pac, <laughs> that's why I didn't do that. So then when he passed away, mm. I'm feeling I'm feeling sorry for him. So you didn't oh. go to the Mecca concert? I didn't go. Okay, okay. okay. I didn't go. Okay. I was right down the street. Okay. I've been I've been a downtown dweller like for a long time. Yeah. So uh, I just don't tell people where I'm at. <laughs> so um they think they know, but they don't always know. Yeah. Um so yeah, I didn't go. So I think Quick was there or what? MC Eight obviously. Yeah, I'm you can see all the, you can see all the, yeah, you can hear all the damn thing. And then and we had footage on my TV show on Matter Channel Fourteen. One of, one of my guys had footage of people running around the the Hyatt Regency damn. and all that. Yeah, wow. it wasn't as exciting as it could have been, but it was definitely like cool. You could definitely see people. Oh, we sorry, Mr. Shakur. You know, I mean, people, different people. It was it was it was it was good, but you wanted to see some more action or. See one of the stars from the from the thing, but 
Yeah, we knew we knew about it. Now here's what happened on that show. Okay. Um, stop. Do something. Else. Keep going. Keep Just going. Keep going. You good. All right. So we on um V100. We at the old V100. Yeah. Um. So Mike is on. Fresh G is on. This guy named Scotty G yeah. is on. I'm on. Um. So we doing our thing, and then go. Hey, dude, died. And then one one of the things that one of the jokes do said. Mike Love and he's he's got should I call him Mike or Fresh? I'm gonna call I'm just gonna call him Fresh G. For okay, now. I'm gonna call him Fresh G because he's Fresh G. Then, so one of the things he he's got kind of a darker sense of humor, mm-hmm. and he don't he don't mean it. he's like dude is a Pisces, dude's dude's a lover, dude's dude's dude's, 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 uh, dude's a lover of life, dude dude and uh Doctor J same fucking thing. The, the man Pisces man, the yeah. motherfuckers love motherfuckers, yeah. visionaries and shit. That they, but, that they love people, but they sneaky as fuck. But they sneak, but they yeah, but they, they do sneaky, sneaky as hell. That sounds personal. I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> I had my girls in Pisces too. Oh uh, uh, yeah, my yeah, bad. My yeah. Bad. She was, she my was, okay. yeah, she was actually. Kind of, <laughs> she was kind of sneaky. Yeah, I can't believe I said that. Um, but uh, they, no, they dream and they they got visions of shit that they ain't necessarily true. They get they fool shit in their head. Yeah, whatever. So anyway, do goes on the way to commercial. Do goes. Tupac and Easy E burning in hell or something like that. So dude said something like so that, and I'm like, in my head, and I already now nah, look, I've already done by this point, I've already been on matter. I've already gotten threats from people, police, mm. yeah, police, and walked to me and said, oh, Mister uh, Undercover Police, they come up to me, um, they walking down the street. I, we had a store called the Scratch Pad. Yeah, we'll getting that a little bit later. Right. So I'm walking down the street. And then dude goes, opens up his jacket, and you see the badge on the inside. Oh, Mr. TV star, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we see you. And then dude keeps walking. That yeah. shit's scaring the motherfucker to me. Hell they yeah. killing the shit out of niggas. Hell Back yeah. then, they, they they really killing the shit out of my, that's my mother. Hey, dude had a cassette deck. Oh, dude had a gun. Oh, it was a cassette. <laughs> it was a cassette tape. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I did on the air. Yeah. What I did on the air was, dude that just killed, a cop that just killed a motherfucker had a cassette tape. So I had a cop come out, and uh, this dude, a character named Terrible T. I had him come out as a cop, and I was running like a uh, black cop, black. I was what? Not black cop. I was running a uh, boop boop. That's the sound of the police. Yeah. And then, I, yeah. And then um, I had a white girl, and I had a OJ, and then I had him writing tickets, and I said, "Man, man, what the fuck you doing? What is you doing, sir?" And then he went to reach, and I shot him, mm. fake shot him, and I said, "Oh man, um, yeah, man, what, what you pulling on me?" And I said, "Oh, he had a cassette," and then I went to commercial. Okay. So of course the police don't like that shit. Yeah. Of course, motherfucker. Anybody that's supporting the the Blue Lives Matter, and that went out back then, the blue, the thin blue line, or mm-hmm. whatever, which is funny because I support them niggas too to a degree. <laughs> I just don't support bullshit. Right. Anyway, right. so dude says that shit. I go, oh my god, dude, you just said that shit. I mean, to me, for me, it was just and dude corrected me when I said it. It's not burning. It was something about burning hell or something in hell. It was something hell, but it was him and Easy E. Easy E had b- died too. From, uh, live from hell. Live from there. Yeah, you go. All right. Oh, you did study it, damn. Bro, okay. I watched the whole yeah. thing twice, bro. Okay. I watched all that shit twice, dog. Yeah. Just to so make sure. I yeah. ain't I got notes, bro. Just make sure real, I don't fuck up, bro. Real shit. Real you know shit. Man? man, I love that. I love that. <laughs> There's a show called Pardon the Interruption. And what I love is that after these two dudes debate and argue, um, Kornheiser and uh, Mike Wilborn, Barn, I think his name. Yeah, yeah. A dude to come on and yeah. just check. No, actually, it wasn't 15 rounds. It was only twelve rounds. Da, da, da. I, lo- I love that. I love. Yeah. I love having the facts right. Mm-hmm. And so I'm glad you're doing that. Mm-hmm. So dude does that. I'm thinking like, that's crazy. Now, I'm not, but I'm not going to correct him on the air on that. But I'm just like, nigga, what is you doing? Like, but it's it's almost like this is your show. Yeah, that was that's his show. I'm just uh, I'm sidekick. Okay. Okay. But I'm like, I'm, in, in my mind, I'm like, I'm uncomfortable with that. That's crazy. It's too soon. This nigga died today, or whatever the fuck. Like that very day. soon. That yeah, day. dude died that day. I'm like, yeah. dude, what is you doing? You know what I'm saying? In my head. And then dude goes, when they ask Scotty, Scotty goes some like, um, yeah, first, man, I was kind of glad that dude died because it was negative. But, you know, then I thought about it. Let me tell you something. So I'll just stop right there. You After that, niggas ain't trying to hear shit you saying. Nothing. First, I'm kind of glad you died. Not, I'm not even saying dude is wrong. I'm saying you can't do that on the air. You can't do that on the air right. because motherfuckers, all they going to go with, is I'm glad dude died. That's it. I'm kind of glad dude died. No matter what he else said, you say. And he said, and then I thought about it, man. You know what? No, nah, man. We got to do better, and this can be something good, and this it, it can end up being something good and really be conscientious. But by then, no, nah, the shit started rolling. Yeah. <sighs> Man, niggas, man, because dude, 
Do it because because you can't bring dude up without bringing up Biggie. Yeah. So what I try and tell cats because they get out in a fag body is the wrong thing. I just can't even <laughs> say fag. So the, people get emotional about this. So right. I don't nothing against gay people. LGBTQ plus GI whatever the fuck whatever. All that, I'm down. I'm down. Trust me. I'm down. Yeah. I'm not in the family, but I'm I'm a friend of the family. Right. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> Unless, of course, it's a bisexual girl. Then <laughs> pull out the strap on. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right. So just joking. Unless you're going to do it. Oh, and it was, it was Nelly said. Ain't that what Nelly said? Unless you're going to do it. All right. So <laughs> I know. Look. Hey, look. Do we get all, we get all that? No. All right. All right, yeah, all, right. all right. So uh, anyway. So my thing was my thing was that. um. That shit what with, with Biggie and and Pac, mm. I try and tell motherfuckers it's like acting. So Pac to me is like Pac is like um, Schwarzenegger. Like whenever whatever he does, you feel it. You think <laughs> what? It, like, oh, you're a Terminator. Okay, you're a so and so. You're a whatever. You uh, and then Biggie is more like Tom Hanks, who I think is like the best actor ever. I think okay. Tom Hanks and then. Denzel and Denzel might be even better, but he don't get the roles that he probably could get because motherfuckers be racist yeah. and they don't be funding movies. Because Malcolm, he do didn't win for Malcolm X's bananas. That's yeah. just ridiculous. But I'm gonna leave that alone. That's hard. So, so I'm saying that to say, and I'm like Tom Hanks. I'd be like, dude, this nigga is uh, Forrest Gump. Yeah. This nigga is Private, whatever the fuck, Finding Private Benjamin or whoever the fuck he was finding. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? This nigga is... Saving Private Ryan. This nigga Private yeah, Ryan. This yeah. nigga's fuck Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. This nigga is a kid. This nigga's a kid inside of a grown man's body and big. This yeah. nigga's playing Bosom Buddies. He's playing a woman in fucking Bosom Buddies on a TV show. You don't want to fuck with dude. Dude's, yeah. dude. You don't want to fuck with dude. Dude, dude. Dude's skill level and dude is a... Uh, what's the Toy Story? Dude is bug. Yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. Dude is, uh, dude, Andy, dude is Chuck, Andy, dude is, Andy. Andy. Yeah, he was I, Andy. I, I never, I never even seen it. Yeah. But I know, dude is that dude. So I'm like, yeah. so anyway, I say, dude, you can't fuck with dude. So when Biggie does, whenever they, and, and here's the thing about Biggie, I'm, not, I'm talking about rap. You go, y'all going off of who y'all like and who you feel. I'm going off of skill level, technicality. You put on a story to tell, nigga. You can't, dude, can't fuck with that. Pac don't have enough styles. Styles upon styles upon styles is what I have. I, I bring up, I bring up, I, I bring up a story to tell, which damn near is possibly true because they said it might be Anthony Mason. They got robbed. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. So, that was true. We don't, That's Anthony Mason. That's Anthony Mason. Okay, I mean, I don't know. I didn't hear it confirmed, confirmed, but I heard a nigga say. It. I heard a nigga say. Because Fat Joe confirmed it. Oh, word. Yeah, Fat Joe confirmed word. he said it was Anthony Mason. I'm, yo. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Even though he passed away now. Yeah. I mean, well, shit. I'm still. I'm still. Sorry right. to hear that. But anyway, then you put on um, Notorious Thugs. And I bring that up because that's not his style. That's bone He's style. Bone, that's bone style. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's like, dude, go, what are we doing today? Who we in with? Oh, bone thugs? Okay. Man, give me a half hour. Okay. I got you. And arguably, his verse is better than they verse. And that's their style. Oh, yeah. that, but he can, do, he can do that shit. Put him on an R&B record. Put him on a so-and-so record. This nigga just do it. Put him on the freestyle. He just didn't have enough at bats. Meaning, like, so in baseball, when they get an average, they'd be like, you have to have 500 minimum. Or if you're shooting free throws, nigga, if you only shot 20 free throws and you shoot all 20, you made 18 or 20 out of 20, nigga, we're not going to give you a thousand percentage because you ain't shot enough free throws. You know what I'm saying? So that, that that's called at bats. Okay. That means when you doing percentage, you, you look at a nigga's stats, mm. you have to have so many games. They'd be like, so and so. This many game minimum. This many free throw minimums. We not gonna count. We not gonna count your shit when you when you done shot under thirty fucking free throws. Even even though I know you talk about Pac, but it's not like you talk about Biggie because he only got two albums. Pac got uh, right. Like that's, six. No, that's my point. Okay, yeah. Biggie. That's why I don't make Biggie like top five. Okay, I don't, make, I don't put Biggie in the top five. Okay. I said the problem. That's I'm, okay. I am talking about Biggie. Okay, okay. The problem okay. with Biggie is he didn't do enough. Yeah, his body of work isn't big enough. I had to do because me. He didn't. Cause, I don't believe Doc B. I don't, I don't agree with Doc B at all. I was, I was like, damn, this nigga want to fight me. It was, uh, <laughs> but that's my man. Actually, that, that, that dude was cool as hell. Is on 23rd, 24th, and um, Hampton. Yeah. It's, uh, I forgot the name of that place. But the 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 dad, the, the, the owner, the guy who runs it is a Muslim. I think he got like two, three wives, stuff like that. And I'm, I don't mean, I'm not putting his business out there. He a positive, <laughs> he a positive role model. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he really about that life. He, he about, now whether you agree with that lifestyle or not, that's up to you. 
But I'm saying the man carries himself with dignity, and he makes sure that his kid, his his young people, some people don't like the word kids. Yeah. Um, I know my some a couple of my elders are saying, man, that's a baby goat. I'm like, I ain't, I'm sorry. It's our children. <laughs> his children are respectful, and he runs a center. I hope they still going. Yeah. I haven't been in there in a while. It's very respectful. So, um, the, so and the reason why I know that is because I'm an activist, and when Safe and Sound and other motherfuckers say, "Come, come," I'm coming. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm coming to, to see what's popping. Mm-hmm. Pal Center, you know whatever the fuck. So anyway, back to that. So Biggie's style though is better. Biggie's rapping skill is better, mm-hmm. and the Wolf D test is always take the beat away. Then yeah. you won't be influenced. Then you just gotta listen to this motherfucker. And then then you gonna go rhyme for rhyme, cadence for cadence. You ain't you ain't Pac can't fuck with dude. But <laughs> but do I believe that happened? Yeah. No, I don't. I don't. I don't believe that everything Biggie's saying. I believe Biggie is picking up shit from other motherfuckers. Yeah, I do believe he's fat and ugly as ever, and black and ugly as ever. And maybe he didn't go pull some shit out the boards. Maybe he really didn't do all that type shit. But with Pac, you really think he he loved Dre? Give me, but do say what you say, but give me that bomb beat from Dre. <laughs> yeah. And then I really believe on toss it up. <laughs> check it, check Dre's shit. It's yeah. Fulia Samalize. Yeah. I believe both. Yeah, <laughs> you believe both. This nigga straight contradicting. Keep your head up. You wonder why I call you bitch. I'm like Pac. Yeah, nigga, because you really, it's a swing of emotions. And, and that's what I was about to say. It's a swing you. of motherfucking emotions, man. I get, I get, man, I, man, I, I, I see, and the dude's acting, and dude's look. Bishop, now nah, that's why I say Bishop, nigga. Man, when dude, do open that, uh, do open that locker, that's one of my favorite scenes. That's yeah. one of my favorite styles, one of the moves they do in suspense movies. Yeah. Where my motherfucker, like, Oh, and then they wipe the mirror, and then the motherfucker in the mirror, like, yeah. oh shit, that's my favorite shit. Motherfucker, motherfucker, close it, motherfucker, open the locker up, and then motherfucker, close the locker, and motherfucker, like, hey. Whoa, shit! Yeah. That's like that, my favorite shit. So when dude did it, hey, what's up? You know, you know, you say I'm crazy. You yeah. know what? Oh, I might be crazy. Well, I'm like this nigga playing the shit out of this role. Yeah, <laughs> my fault, man. No, no, you are good because like, so, yeah. I'm, but I'm, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, li- I didn't, I didn't like that they did that. Um, I'm, I'm separating myself from them, but I'm not because then I, I had it going, and then I said I'm, I'm disappointed. That's why I didn't go. I'm disappointed what he did, and that let people down too. So people didn't like that I said that on the air, but I mean, shit, I'm 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 keeping it 100. But that's one of those when keeping it real goes wrong, as yeah. Dave Chappelle said. Yeah, it didn't need to be said. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I should have said, you know what, man, dude is a great. We go, we he will be missed because he's man. That nigga, that nigga will still be influencing niggas right now. That nigga was running the office and Mr. Bill Clinton, Mr. Bob Dole. Yeah, you too old to understand the way the game goes, goes. <laughs> nigga. That shit beautiful, oh, nigga. Yeah. You gonna feel that shit? Yeah. You gonna feel that? You yeah, gonna make a motherfucker do it? Sorry, sorry, Hillary, give it a shot. Yeah. You ain't gonna be able to fake it. You ain't gonna be able to pull out no high sloth. Right. I ain't no way tired. <laughs> then it ain't gonna work, baby. It ain't gonna work. You got to come with that real shit. Yeah, Pac gonna call your ass out. Yeah, because I'm I, like, even though you kind of explained it, like uh, the example you gave an example real quick, but I know you said his whole musical career. You said it was a like a walking contradiction, like and it, it, and that's like you said is because he make a song called "Keep Your Head Up." Then make wonder why you call your bitch. Like you think that's why you said that. Yeah, yeah, okay. exactly, exactly. It's like I'm trying to follow you. I'm like, well, wh- why would you do that to Dre? Why would you do that to Doctor? Don't I mean, don't fuck with, don't fuck with dude. Like, but when when what he he does what a lot of younger people do, they don't know how to deal with the conflict. Mm-hmm. They don't have conflict de escalation. Mm-hmm. You go zero to a hundred, <laughs> nigga, real quick, yeah. real quick, yeah. real fucking quick. And there's a way. Sometimes what you think is a certain way isn't, or they have to do it. Sometimes a motherfucker did some shit, they family got threatened. Or they didn't have no choice. Or they said, look, motherfucker, either you do this. I mean, it's a rumor out right now about Magic. Motherfucker said, uh, man, really, really, he ain't got AIDS. Motherfucker said he ain't got HIV. He had he had relations with some rich pe- person's underage daughter. Mm. And they said, look, you either go with this or you go with that. I don't even like saying it because I don't have no proof of that. Right, right. But I'm saying, but... Shit like it's that. plausible. Yeah, hell yeah. You think that ain't plausible? Yeah, you think, yeah. mother? Okay, well, you know, you yeah, go on, Mister Righteous. Go ahead. You want to you want to testify against him? You really want to do that? Um, here's a picture of your mom, <laughs> and that's that's not your dad. <laughs> By the way, that's not your dad, buddy. And I said, and we got these pictures all over the place. We got that and more. Right. We got all your shit. Mm-hmm. We got your daughter doing whatever the fuck. We got your son, Hunter mm-hmm. Biden looking ass. <laughs> we got we got yeah. I mean, dude, you you don't. You don't know what they got. 
You don't know who they got. You don't know what they did. with Because I've done a lot of um, shows where I was feeling some kind of way about doing it, but I'm like, I know I needed to build to pay the bills. Yeah, yeah. So, so now that I just attached myself to that brand, mm. sort of. Yeah. You sort of did. I mean, I'm, I mean, mixtape trappers now. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm on yeah. mixtape trappers We're now. Well, I'm gonna going. say I'm not. Now, if you go fuck somebody up, and she's like, yeah, the last, the last, <laughs> the last show he did with Doc B. <laughs> Doc B. <laughs> well, yeah, man. I, um, yeah, but man, we got uh, man, I got anonymous calls and shit. Uh, they call NOV, so we won V100. They was called NOV, and. Oh, I did this too. So this this is another thing. I I had to own it. In, in my mind, I thought it was something good. Um, in reality, and Fresh G said he said, "Dude, that shit ain't gonna work." I said, "Look, everybody's calling in about Pac. You don't y'all don't even know Pac. Kind of like what you said from the back seat." I said, "Well, give him his, and then why don't you give a shout out to somebody who you think you know somebody that died in your life, some somebody that was close to you in your life. Why don't you do that? In theory, that shit sound good." To what niggas heard was these niggas don't even care about Pac's life. They talking about shout out somebody else, and that's what they said on NOV on Mike McGee show. Mm-hmm. They went on Mike. They called NOV and said, "Yeah, they over there talking about don't say nothing to Pac. Say something about other people." Like, no, I didn't say that. I said, "Do Pac and do somebody else." And and Fresh G to his credit said, "Man, I know radio. That shit ain't gonna work." Nah, and it didn't. It didn't work. It didn't work. And it just it bat- and not only did it not work, but here's but in my defense. I'm thinking these niggas fucked up. I'm trying to sa- I'm trying to save the show. Yeah. To me, I'm trying to save our rep. <laughs> Cause bro tr- fucked up saying that. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of glad. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm kind of glad he did. And, mm. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. These niggas been these niggas calling in. These niggas saying shit. These niggas, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, so yeah, we need to clean this up. Yeah. Is what I'm thinking. I mean, like, and I remember from the the channel, my channel 14 days, and then my shit replay. You know, the replay and mother not not that people hearing it live. But then other motherfuckers gonna keep talking about it. Yeah. And you see, I mean, I think the reason why you heard that is I think um, Fresh G put it back out. I think that's how you got to it. Okay. So he reposted the shit. Yeah. Yep. But um, yeah, man. So yeah, I'm, I'm, um, I can own it. I don't think I really fucked. Up. I mean, I don't think I fucked. Up. Like you said, when I don't, you don't, you don't think I said nothing that was really fucked up. Cause you just like I was, you like I just gave you my opinion of why I didn't fuck with dude. There's plenty of concerts I didn't fuck with. Right. Go but ahead. but like if 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 if. Pac would have died in 2023. It would have been the same exact crew. Y'all would have all y'all been the same exact age, and y'all put that out. It would have went viral. Like, and I still would have said the same thing I said right now. I'm like, bro, that's your opinion. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't. Real shit. Like, that's how you feel. Like, shit. Like, you you get you had face to face like experience, experience with him. With you him. know what I'm saying? So same dude threatening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, we got the Don Columinati, man. The Don Columinati, Machiavelli. Oh, Machiavelli, oh, the die, the die. Oh, <laughs> oh man, I put man. that just for you, dog. Do productions. I mean, I don't dislike the nigga. I know, I know. Yeah, but I, 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 <laughs> I, I, you didn't ask me who my top five was. Shit, you man, who your there. top five, bro? Ah, that's funny you said that. Who your top um, five, dog? Carrot. Uh, all right, another tangent. Okay, <laughs> I think I, now, now it's funny you said I'm. You think I'm the best out of Milwaukee? Yeah. Hell the, yeah. Now you said the words. I never say these words. Um, I don't care what nobody say. Exactly. I don't, I don't like that. I don't. I don't like that one. I'm, Why? I care. What, I care. What, I like. I care what you say, but convince me then, because you it's gonna be hard to convince me. I care what you say, okay. but I think. But I think. Um. But I think my opinion is right. You right, nigga. I am the best. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. They be all. What about uh Jesse Jeff? What about uh Doctor Bot? I say, dude, you Jam Master J. I said, dig him up. <laughs> Put some, put some, you know, make them come back to life. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna beat, I'm gonna beat them. Yeah. So here, and I'm gonna explain why I think I can beat them. So I'm gonna say three names right quick. Okay, Karis one. Yeah, Magic Johnson. What? Doc B. So I'm gonna show you some. I'm gonna show you some. Okay. And then, why are they all? It, oh, it, oh, that's beautiful. Well, you like, you like Jordan? You a Jordan guy? You a Jordan dude? Uh, Jordan, LeBron. Okay, okay. All right. So I, LeBron ain't a killer. So I'm, <laughs> but he's on my Lakers. But I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll shut down many barbershops with this shit. Okay. So, Karis one, Doc B, so, all for the same reason. So, Ka- so Karis one can do battle rap for show, freestyle yeah. for show, political rap, religious rap, R and B. Not great at R and B, but he can do it. Mm. He to. To his almost like magic getting HIV, real or not, his rings had to stop then. Karis One's 
Scott LaRock died, of course, oh, yeah. dude's produ- it's going to stop. I mean, his, his 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 career didn't stop. But his production changed. Yeah, you know, you change the, the dynamic. Sound. You 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 kill a motherfucker, it's a major motherfucker. That I mean, he's the he's the director of the the boys' home. The dude is dude is homeless. Mm-hmm. Cares one is homeless. You kill this motherfucker, and you know, low low key. I'm gonna say this very calmly. D Nice kind of got dude killed. Yeah, like dude was dude was um D Nice was producer rapper yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. and he got and some dudes was bullshitting. Jealous of dude, and they was gonna fuck dude up. Scott LaRock is not only crew of BDP, but he's running this center, so he care about whoever is in trouble. Mm-hmm. So, so some dudes was jealous of dude fucking with a girl. Mm-hmm. They want to fuck dude up. They go to they part of town to like not necessarily fight him, but like, hey man, look, dog, what's up? Let's settle this shit. Squash it. Let's squash this mm-hmm. shit. That's what dude does at the center. And somebody picked him off from one of the buildings. Yeah, because like a was, sniper. There was a pot. Yeah, yeah, there was yeah. a pot. They, they yeah, they sniped. The they right? sniped dude. Yeah, they yeah. they killed. They killed Scott. One of doing what you call it. And um, it's all you know. What it reminds me of almost like that lady. You know the lady that shot through the door. And the, the, you know the, it was a white lady that threw her kids. They was feuding. It was a white lady that was feuding with uh this this black lady and her kids. Mm. And she ended up throwing a iPad and cracking it. The mom and the kid comes back over. She knocks on the door like, hey, I want to talk to you. And the girl, the lady shoots her through the door and kills her. If you didn't know about that, that happened. Yeah, right. That, that. that happened this year. That happened this year. Yeah. But here's what I'm saying. The way you got to settle shit with now, now with motherfuckers, you can't just walk up on them. You got to like, and that's been forever. And I'm saying now, so that was that was true of Car- that was true of Sky LaRock. Mm-hmm. They shouldn't have went, they shouldn't have chased him down. I mean, hindsight is 2020. Mm-hmm. Meaning like, yeah, nigga, now that I know what happened, of course we wouldn't have did it. But I mean, seriously, you don't need to do that. What you need is meeting. You need a meeting. You need a safe place. You need an agreement. You need to check motherfuckers at the door the whole nine. We we good? No, we good. Keep going. Okay. So anyway, so back to back to the the, the original shit. So Karis one's my number one. I'm a, I'm gonna come back up to the Magic Johnson other shit. Karis <laughs> one's my number one. Rakim's my number two. Jay Z's my number three. But it's he's fading because of the the amount of. This is what motherfuckers do with Jay Z. <laughs> they do the same thing they do with Deion Sanders and shit. But look at all this other shit dude does. And I'm like, yeah, but I ain't got nothing to do with rapping, motherfucker. Exactly. So, the, so yeah, nigga, you you did the Super Bowl, and he's a Sagittarius. I'm down with the, I'm I'm gonna be down with doing some Sagittarius shit. But he stole. He took so many rhymes from Biggie. From, yeah, period. From period. period. Yeah, period. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Cameron fucking exposed him with yeah. the fucking. I'm not about it. Yeah, like, he exposed the shit out of. I hear, and I hear more and more. I'm like, damn. Oh damn, that's dude. Oh yeah, that's dude. Everybody does it, but he does he does it to the he do it to the. Mm. You, you know, uh, even though like he a uh, top he a top five rapper, bro, Jay Z. Right. But you know he how how I view him like I'm talking yep. fuck music like he like one of the niggas that like uh, I look at him like uh, like he came to the party kind of late. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how I kind of look because like right. you know you know when the pro black stuff was going on the Black Lives Matter. Right. Now all of a sudden he got dreads. Now he pro black. <laughs> now he doing this. Now he trying to help black. Like I'm like bro. No dude, dude is calculated. Dude is calculated. Like, bro. Dude is yeah. I'm like, I'm just trying to show you niggas how to do it now. Yeah, pa- like paintings, paintings, and I got a be ask you whatever dude's name is. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot what the, the funny gay here. painter. I'm out of. I'm out of. I'm out of order for that. Yeah. I, I should. Know, I should know dude's name. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. No, no disrespect because I love the arts. My mom. My mom had us engulfed in arts. My my uncle is an actor. My my his daughter's an actress. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like yeah, I mean like on TV type shit. Yeah. So anyway, back to the point. But back to the, yeah. But real shit. Real shit. So Jay Z three, four. Is is a tie, even though that's not cool. Q, who got the whole West Coast on his back. Ice Cube, okay. Ice Cube and Jadakiss, who was who was always underrated. Just yeah. always just under. Dude don't get his shit. Yeah. Dude don't get. Dude don't get his prop. Dude yeah. don't get his. Dude is, dude is bananas. Um, but if I had to do it, and really I had Andre three thousand, they was all like kind of fucking. <laughs> I was. They was all kind of bucking for that four and five spot. Yeah. Q was a solid five. And it was Cool G Rap. I just, but I'm Cool G Rap don't have enough at bats neither for me. Right, right, cool G right. Rap is Cool G Rap is underrated by motherfuckers. The old school all know that he started a lot of shit, it, meaning like started a lot of styles. Yeah, a lot of motherfuckers fuck with dude, but he just don't. He don't have enough at bats. Okay, he kind of he's got like kind of like the Biggie problem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like 
You cold as fuck, but you didn't do enough, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got to pick up Poison. Poison. That's dude. Poison. Uh, poison. Yeah. That's a sample. Yeah. It's a demo. That's Ro- Rags, Rose to the Riches. Rags to the Riches. Ro- um, the Road to the Riches, whatever. The Road to the Riches is the shit. That's the shit. But it ain't an, um, the symphony. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I mean, Coogee Rap is a shit, but he can't be top five. It's too many motherfuckers. And this is the one that all my friends said. And I, I said this like seven, eight years ago, mm. 10 years ago. It's on my demo that I made to get on V1, even be on V100 wow. or get on True. Drake. Drake is un- Drake. Drake is fucking <laughs> Drake. Drake is undeniable because no, and push it to you, kill him, and push it to you, kill him. But listen, dude is dude, dude shit. He's the golden child, and he's been the golden child. Kind of he he sneaks up on you without he's hiding he's hiding in plain sight like LL. You're like, damn, oh L made that. <laughs> damn, L did make that. Damn, L made that. And then L man, fuck. Yeah. So yeah, if I just start pulling out all the shit and then not even to get on the shit where he a guest spot on the motherfucker. Yeah. Like even like the Aston Martin music. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. mean, features, it, features. I mean it, it I mean, I'm not even a big Cali fan because I don't really know what he does. But <laughs> like I mean, I'm but I'm on one is like my favorite Cali record. Yeah. You're gonna call it a Cali record. Mm-hmm. And Drake and Drake is all over that mother. But dude is just dude is solid, dude is sing songy. No dude doesn't write all this shit. But if again, if you really did a deep dive and put a lie detector test on motherfuckers, my favorite line ever is uh, about about uh, ghostwriting is uh, fucking um, Kendrick Lamar do said, I promise I wouldn't tell, but most of y'all sharing bars like you got the bottom bunk in a two-man cell. <laughs> two-man c- <laughs> Nigga! Nigga! I, that, I said, did you, did you hear this shit? Yeah. I, I literally just stopped the record. I said, did y'all hear what just fucking happened? Yeah. Put your drink down, sir. Yeah. I, said, I, said, I, said, I stopped it in the bar. I said, did you hear what this motherfucker just said? Yeah. Well, I'm fucking with a ghost rider. What the fuck's happening? Man, yeah. nigga, that, I promise I wouldn't tell. Let's say that again for the people. <laughs> I prom- This is talking about a ghost rider. Yeah. I promise I wouldn't tell, but most of y'all share, sharing bars. Like you got the bottom bunk in a two-man cell. Yeah. Nigga. Hey, he snapped, dog. Nigga. Nigga, yeah, he snapped. That, and that's what's so beautiful about rap. When motherfuckers say rap ain't shit, I'm like, nigga, y'all can't sing like this. Mm-hmm. Y'all not as clever as this. Mm-hmm. And y'all really don't write y'all shit, so you better shut the fuck up. Yeah, Luther Vandross, most of his songs was covers. Oh yeah. My, I mean, I'm not shitting on no Luther. Yeah, I mean, I'll be an idiot of shit. Yeah. Shit on do. Dude. dude didn't write that shit. Mm-hmm. Michael Jackson, fucking dude from uh Heatway, wrote plenty of dude shit. Yeah, oh uh, Teddy Riley too, didn't he? Yeah, Teddy, yeah, oh, yeah. Teddy Riley for sure, show. Sure. For yeah. sure, I'm not shit on motherfuckers. And rap and R and B is they not totally different, but they they different animals. That's hip hop. We got our own rules, which is why I want El Mazi and Nooney, the greatest show. They should be. <laughs> the rules are go see the old motherfuckers before they die. Go see Homer. Go see Doc B. Go see Reggie Brown. Not because they got hired to work at the club you already working at. That's not going to see them. You got to see me then yeah. because I got hired to be there. You got to go find it. You got to go. Man, what's this fucking punk ass? What five oh two? I heard of it. Mm-hmm. I think my uh, my auntie had a part. My sixty year old auntie. Yeah, nigga, go see it. Yeah, <laughs> go see it. Go order some wings. Go see if you see old ass DJ whatever the fuck. Because you you a part of you you a part of this culture, nigga. Yeah, it yeah. all counts, fam. Mm-hmm. Sorry, definitely, definitely. So you gotta go see Drew. You gotta see Cal. Mm-hmm. You gotta see Ice Mo, Mac yeah. Mo. Yeah. You gotta see these niggas. Tweezy. Tweezy. Oh, OG Tweezy. The mayor. The mayor. OG Tweezy. OG Tweezy. You got to see these niggas. <laughs> Buy a hookah, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, a, I'm just saying, dog. That's yeah. the history, dog. Yeah, yeah. Nah, you on radio? Okay, so yeah. anyway. No, nah, no, nah, before oh. before we get out of here, man. Like, Oh, I didn't even do the, the Karis one and the, what you call The, the, the uh, Why I'm the best. So oh, go ahead. Do, 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 okay. that, do that. So, so you said best in Milwaukee. And I'm saying that's like saying Jordan is the best on the Bulls. He ain't just the best on the Bulls. Right. Arguably, he's the best to ever dribble a basketball ever. in the NBA, ever. right? So I say I'm the best. Um, I hope y'all don't think I'm bragging. I'm just telling you, I'm a, but I'm going to explain why I say that. And I say Magic Johnson is the best basketball player. So I'm going I'm to I'm start with Magic because that's the easiest one that most motherfuckers say is bullshit. I already, well, I'm not starting with Karras. I'm picking up with Magic okay. because I already said Karras won because he could do all those five different styles. Mm-hmm. And he's still relevant. He's, he said I'm a way past 60. He said that shit. 
What is it? DJ Revolution and fucking Karis One, the DJ. Another motherfucker ain't even gonna make no song like that. <laughs> no. it's, it's the D nigga. Write that down, DJ. Yeah. The DJ. The Listen DJ. to that motherfucker with Karis One. The Revolution. DJ. I know Revolution. We in yeah. the same crew called the Vatican. Yeah. I'm not in the core. I'm not in the so and so. I'm in the fucking Vatican, DJ. Yeah. Motherfuckers, you ain't you motherfuckers. You heard of but didn't know they was in it. Like fucking Baker Boys and other motherfuckers. Yeah, shout out Baker Boys. Baker Boys, shout out for sure. Yeah, yeah. I used to I used to fuck with them too. Oh, but yeah. I told Pops, I was like, man, for I said sure. that I said they know how to mix, but they don't know how to mix like Dr. B. You know what I'm saying? Like and I ain't uh, never no. I ain't know where Baker Boys is from. That's love. Nothing. Like I ain't never I just used to know they used to be on, on Saturdays or yep, yep. something. Yeah, something. Yep. Yeah. Syndicated. They yep. still they still syndicated. Right. I think they do a morning this now. Okay. But um okay, so we were on Magic Johnson. Yeah. So and I'm just gonna compare him right to Jordan. LeBron is in the conversation. You got to put him in because he got numbers. He doing numbers. So, but he's not in the conversation because he's not a killer. He's not the motherfucker when you want the ball at the end. And it, they proved it this year. You know what I'm saying? Like when you put the ball in his hand, and it's time to do it. He he looking to pass first and he can't get it. He can't get it done. He can't get it done from the outside. But he's still the shit. Yeah. He's still the shit. Yeah. He's still going to muscle the shit out of you. His basketball IQ is super high. I am not disrespecting LeBron James, mm. all right? I, but I am saying you got to be a killer like Kobe. You got to be a killer like Magic. You got to be a killer like Bird. You, I, in fact, I would rather have Bird on my team. But we'll go. We'll go that. Yep. Sorry, sorry, boss. Everybody, and you know, everybody loves the era they came up in. Everybody loves the era they came up in. That's but crazy. but I, but if you watch some old Bird footage, you you gonna see what I mean. That yeah. nigga hit. Do a hit from anywhere. Do a hit from behind the basket. Basket. Call a shot. Pass. Strategic, the whole nine, and play some nice D, and play some nice D, yeah. and play some nice D. He looks slow though. He, it, I looked at the highlights. He looks slow. So does Joker. Yeah, they yeah they look the same. Yeah. What's, what's, what 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 did Joker just do to everybody? Right. Yeah, his feet yeah, slow. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, it, it's what is it because I can outsmart you. Yeah. And you are and one nigga. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you are, uh, you are Rucker Park nigga. But yeah, when I'm but come on, professor, when I put you out there, we finna do you. Yeah. Cause I'm finna I'm finna mentally I'm finna mentally fuck you up with the brain. Back to the point. So back to the point. Jordan, it took seven years to get a ring. Yeah. Magic won year one. Oh, Forty two points at what position? He he played off or center. 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 That, oh, yeah, uh, Filling uh, in for Kareem. Yeah, he got hurt. Yeah. Okay. Kareem got hurt game six. So first rookie rookie season. All five positions. He played in all five positions. All right? He played in all five positions. He played, He won at center. He got five rings. The only reason he don't have no more than five rings, HIV. What you been to do? You can't do it. Niggas don't want to play. His own teammates didn't want to play with him. AC Green telling on motherfuckers because he saved. Wow. <laughs> he saved. His motherfuckers don't even want to play with that motherfucker no more. You know what I'm saying? But obviously, dude was like, dude was running shit. But now, he was trying to pass the torch like 91. That's when Jordan, Jordan beat When Jordan beat him, when Jordan beat him, that's when he was on his way out. Plenty of people, was, plenty of them niggas was hurt. That was on LA that year. Okay. I'm not saying the Bulls couldn't have won. Jordan and them never beat uh, Bird. And them they never beat Boston. Yeah, that's what I heard. They, they never, never beat Boston. Never beat they Boston. never beat Boston. They never beat Boston. Never beat Boston. Um, but Jordan, that's, that's before Scottie Pippen though. Maybe, yeah. maybe they they play, but they played Boston because he bust 63. Yeah, and they lost. Yeah, wait a minute, check that out. And they lost. <laughs> so mothers be like, Magic scoring, he averaged 19. Nigga, Magic could average 40 if he want to average 40, but he know if you distribute the ball to everybody else, everybody else can kill you. You want everybody else to be able to kill you. When did Jordan realize that? When Phil Jackson came in. Yeah. That's when he passed it out to Paxson. That's when he passed it out to uh, Dude and Dude and BJ Armstrong and these motherfuckers. When he finally started <laughs> trusting motherfuckers to distribute the ball. You don't know that because you're not a point guard. The, and, Arguably, the, the two most important positions then was point guard and center. Yeah. Now, now Jordan's so cold, it kind of didn't matter because he's so cold at the two guard. Mm-hmm. But if you made him bring the ball up, if you made him and trap dude, do going to have to give it up. If you made dude go down there with Elijah Wan, he's going to get fucked up. He can double team Elijah Wan. He can double team Carl Malone from the back, but he can't guard. He, can't, he ain't going to be able to hold a, a center. Wow. I mean, so, but yeah, but he right there. He right there. <laughs> so, yeah, so no. And it, and same thing with Karis one and then me. Okay. You drop me in anything, nigga. What you what you want me to do? Of course you are gonna say I'm gonna do old school. But really, nigga, even old school niggas ain't that cold. They just old. Yeah. They old, but they not cold at the old school, nigga. I got routines. I got a million fucking routines. I can just start naming off the top of my head. So I'm, I'm gonna kill you in the old school. I'm definitely gonna kill you the rap, nigga. I can rap, nigga. I got a rap album. 
Damn. Rap this speech. <laughs> nigga, me and Royal Dynasty, we got rap records, nigga. Damn. All right, so I'm like, nigga, I've been doing this shit consistently, nonstop, since 81. Mm. At a high fucking level. I can do Spanish. It, oh, when you say Spanish, yeah, yeah, whole ass nigga, nah. Hold on, hold on, nigga. That's bachata. That's cumbia. That's merengue. That's reggaeton. Who you fucking with? Yeah. That's salsa? Nigga, who you trying to see? Yeah. Who you fucking with? Rock? Classic rock? Nigga, stop playing. I got whole rock routines and shit that I fucking do. That's Planet crazy. rock shit? The break that Nigga, stop it. That's when, that's when I first started. That's when I started like putting the whole mixtapes together with pause buttons. So you yeah. so it go so you want to make it go you want to make it go dun 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 you got to go yeah. dun pause bring it back let it go dun dun <laughs> then you do it. so three of them in a row that's you stopping and stopping the pause button three times before we knew what the fuck overdubbing was because we trying to figure it out yeah. we don't know how to fucking do this shit yeah. but what it is if you learn how to cook on a regular oven and or a pot with a thing how, how cold you gonna be when the when the the the, the cycle Drama of fucking high tech ass, Magnavox <laughs> ass shit come out. You gonna be a you gonna be a beast. Yeah. Cause you know how to do this shit with grandma. That's why you can't put grandma shit in the cookbook. Right. Man, that's feel, nigga. Yeah, you gotta feel it. You ain't got yeah. no feeling, nigga. Mm-hmm. You ain't got it. You ain't got that feeling. I mean, I ain't shitting on you. I'm just saying. Like, you synthetic. Like, like even though I know you said, all, even though I said the interview's over, I'm out of here. Yeah. I'm, fuck, I'm, fuck, I'm fuck with you. I'm fuck with you. I know we gotta get up. Hey, I'm I gotta bring you. you back for real though, bro. Because I, I gotta get up out of here. Okay, I'm but sorry. Before oh I shit, go. the rent, the rent, dude. <laughs> they gonna fuck us up. They gonna, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, who the fuck is that? Man, that's Doc B. I don't give a fuck. Where the fuck my rent money, whole ass nigga? Get up out oh here, yeah, bro. get the fuck out of here. You gotta get up out of here, dog. You ain't trying to fuck. Yeah, pack your stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. speaker knockers. That's my nigga. Oh yeah, R.P. Speaker knockers. I'm the nigga. Hey, I'm the one who got speaker knockers on V100. Yeah. I'm the one. That shit wasn't approved. I got that shit. I campaigned for that nigga. That's crazy. Yeah, that's I mean, that's cool. crazy as one dude's speaker knockers, but whatever. It's still Plural. the point. The shit. He, oh, he had a big, big impact. Man, but, I, lo- I love that nigga. But I love, before I, I say mean, that, I miss dude. Yeah, RP Recipes. speaker knockers, man. For sure. But like, sorry. Even though I know I said Milwaukee, bro, you the best DJ in Milwaukee, but now I understand what you're saying, but I have to put you at least okay, top. Ahead. No, I'll say top four. Oh, I mean, I mean, like top four ever because, like, I'm Nick, just saying, my Nick, Scra- DJ Scratch ain't no punk neither. Yeah, I DJ like Scratch, it. all right. I fuck with him. But Jazzy Jeff, he said, all right. Yeah, Jeff. I mean, Jeff, Jeff, one of the goats. Jeff, one of the goats. That's what I'm saying. To me, on oh, all time, I'm gonna have Jeff number one. You are gonna put in that? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have number one only because of what I've seen him do with the scratch and what I've seen him do with some reggaeton music, mixing it, go. cutting it in. You know what I'm saying? Like I've seen he him do. Yeah, he cold oh, as fuck. Man, I seen Jazzy Jeff do a lot of stuff, man. Like a lot of a lot of videos, bro. But I seen Doc B. Do we got Cap Drive Montana? Nah, <laughs> nah, he ain't got Doc. <laughs> he ain't got Cap. Can he, he do Steppers? Can he do Steppers? Can he do Steppers? Can he do house music? Like regular, like reg, like Chicago house music. Oh no, nah. I ain't never seen him do that. Yeah, Doc nah, B. Neither. Can, yeah. How's he on that mic? He gets. Nah, he, he, he don't get. On he, the gets mic. he don't get on the mic. Yeah, he don't get Did on that count? Mic. Does the mic count? And then that's what I was gonna get to. So here's the other thing. This is how I look at. This is how I look at DJing. DJing. I don't look at rap the same way as this, but I look at DJing this way. DJing is like, you ever seen the Olympics with ice skating yeah. or gymnastics? Like Beal, Ball, whatever the, the black girl name. Yeah. <laughs> this is what they do. They got seven categories or seven judges. And then, so to me, you looking at all this shit in between one, we, 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 won't, we won't ever give you a zero, but we'll say one to 10. You got seven categories. So. Each DJ, there's a DJ you can name. Shit, New Style's gonna be me on scratching. I can't crap. New style's I can't crap. Brr, I can't do that shit. Yeah. I can't even do that shit. I'm not even gonna try. I'm not, I can't do it with my back. I'm too big. I'm three. Nigga, I'm six feet, three hundred pounds. <laughs> nigga, I'm not gonna do this shit. I'm gonna knock the whole fucking shit over if I do that shit. But nigga, I'm finna get up on. I can get up on the chair, do the shit. I can go around the. I'm not gonna tell you everything I do because I might end up in the battle. But here's what I'm saying. You can beat me in one or two of these categories, each of these DJs that you think is the shit. But you're not going to, across the board, I'm going to get eight to tens. I'm going to get eight to tens. In every you can beat me, at square, but, but nigga, my scratch ain't going to be a four. Mm. Nigga, my scratch is still nice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm transforming. I'm fucking baby scratching. I'm doing the, I'm doing the drags. Mm. I'm doing the what you got. And mm-hmm. most importantly, nigga, James Brown, everything is on the one. I'm always on beat. These niggas don't be on beat. They be trying to go fast, and I say, you know what I call that? 
I say, I say that's like comparing Jordan to a bear on a unicycle spinning the ball. Or like, you know that dude? You know that dude to be spinning like the balls? It'd be like two here. It'd be two on, two sticks on his knee. Yeah, yeah, two yeah. Two on his yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That nigga cold as fuck. Yeah. Wow. You want you want that nigga on the court? Hell no. No. Hell no, you don't no. want that nigga on the court. So, he, yeah. I just because you know I do yeah. that don't mean you could know make a shot. Nigga. The whole complete game. Mm. So, I was like, and it, it, maybe he can. Maybe he the best free throw shooter ever. But, I mean, nigga, you got to get fouled first. <laughs> right. You got to get fouled first. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and how many points are you giving up before I get you on the free throw line? Mm-hmm. So, I'm saying, if you can beat me at these, you can beat me at one of these, you're not going to beat me at enough categories to fucking beat me. Mm-hmm. So, I got you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't seen the motherfucker do it. And the, the, and the unfortunate thing is I done traveled at the Scratch Pad, which was a music store we had with break beats. We introduced break beats and mixtapes okay. to the whole city in the 90s. I'm watching these their their their, their video their videos called the DMC battles, mm. so you can see all of them. So you see Cubert, you see these different, different motherfuckers. And I'm like, man, these niggas cold as fuck. Mm. Are you seeing what the fuck they doing? I'm watching. I'm studying. I'm rectangle is from Milwaukee. Mm. I mean, he's from Cut A, but he moved out there. He was a Warren G's DJ. If yeah. you watch the show, I <laughs> yeah, think he was on yeah, that. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, so I'm watching these cats. I'm at these battles. I'm watching these motherfuckers. I'm watching them at parties. I'm watching them. We're both we're side by side in the booths at Nam. Nam is national. Association of Music Merchants. It's a big CES, Consumer Electronics Show. I'm at these shows working for Pioneer. What you call it? Because I won battles. Mm. And so they took me on tour to do that shit. Mm. So I didn't see so much shit. I just don't brag about it or talk about it. Mm. Or motherfuckers don't ask me about it. Right. Because they not like you. Exactly. The young motherfuckers ain't like, no. They just like, nigga, you ain't at 618 tonight. You ain't at, I mean, what's it called now? Uh, Element. Element. Yeah. So it's called Element. Yeah. You ain't at Element. You ain't, Future's here tonight. You ain't doing the after set. And so and so, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm not shitting on it, but I'm shitting on it on that being your criteria for being the hottest motherfucker. When the hottest motherfucker got to be the skills, for real. Two, two hundred, two thousand, mm-hmm. nigga. Okay, how about? Oh, I, I ain't got no people. How about eighty thousand with the Packers, two thousand fourteen, when they should have won the Super Bowl yeah. and fucking Julius Peppers said lay down after uh. the when they should have beat fucking Seattle. I'm sizing up my ring and shit. I'm like, damn, yeah. what size do I wear? <laughs> what? Size of, what? These niggas lost? These niggas lost? I'm DJing in Lambo, nigga. 70, 80,000 motherfuckers. Damn. Oh, you got oh you got frequent flyer miles? Try Afghanistan. You DJ in Afghanistan, nigga? Yeah. No. Nah. Dubai, nigga? Oh, Dubai? Hey, Dubai. I'm in the UAE, nigga. United um, Aries. Am- Emirates. Emirates. Damn. I'm DJing that motherfucker with me, sincere. Fucking what you got? We all on tour doing this shit. 2006, nigga. That's crazy. Summer fest every fucking year, no matter what. Boom, 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 boom. They always stick me on the stage. It's like harder to do. They don't ever give me like Ti. They don't ever give me two chains and shit like that. Yeah. Because you know that's already gonna sell itself. They put hey, now get your ass over here because there's gonna be some white motherfuckers, some other motherfuckers. Yeah. We need you to keep them calm. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Nigga, yeah. you ain't fucking. With, you ain't trying to see me. New Order. Like I'm not doing it to get a check. I'm doing it because I actually like these records. For real. I like New Order. I like Ministry. I was the first <laughs> nigga. I was the first. You ever heard of? Everybody know it now. Even if they don't know the song, they know. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that song? Yeah, yeah. First, I'm the first motherfucker playing. I'm playing on record. <laughs> it's fucking White Stripes, nigga. I'm, I'm like, damn, I like this shit. The fuck is this shit? <laughs> I'm playing it. I'm mixing this shit. And the thing, I swear to God, we, we, did, it, we did a thing. It's by Beans and Barley. You go down the steps. On the east side, it's like north and whatever. I don't know the name of the place. Yeah. We did a thing. I'm mixing that shit in. Mothers are like, they said they like this other guy, dude named Swan. Swan is cold as fuck. This dude named DJ Swan. He got a, she be wearing short ass blazers and shit. <laughs> that nigga crazy. <laughs> sure, that nigga crazy as hell. But, but I did a set. I did. I said, man, I usually be watching TV, y'all. So I did like Andy Griffith show. I did some other shit. And I just did some underground shit. Some east side shit, some some gangster shit. Yeah. And this this dude came to me. He said, "God damn, that's super." This, this, this couple couple dudes came to me. He said, "Dude, that's that's it was bananas, dude." I said, "Right." I said, well, "I said, watch this record go though." That one record I played with the dun, dun, yeah. dun. I said, "Watch that record go though." I didn't know it would blow up like it did now. That's Man, good. tugboats be like, dun, dun, dun. they be doing all the <laughs> the tugboat horn and shit. Yeah. But yeah, that's but that's why. And I love this shit. Yeah. Like nigga, if I hear some shit in here, I'm be like, "What the fuck is that, nigga?" Shazam, nigga. Sorry, dog. I'm, I'm talking way too much. Man, you good, bro. You hey, good. Nah, like I, I swear to God, like no, nah, I'm just ma- trying to make sure niggas don't come beating on the window. Uh, okay. Wow, what's name? But dog, like I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like we gotta bring you back, man. Real like, talk. like I gotta bring you back. Well, like we we still got so much shit. Like, dude, I got so much shit that 
I ain't even bring you, up like at all. Talk. You know what I'm real saying? Talk. So nigga, we didn't do scratch pad. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like so much Work shit, man. Like we gonna bring you back. If we could bring you back at the end of the year, like we gonna do part two, man. Fuck it. Okay. That's fuck what's it. up. You scared yeah. of Vlad TV? Are you scared of Vlad TV? I'll yeah. fuck with you. I'll fuck with you. Yeah. I'm fucking. Hell, I know niggas get mad. I know they. Man. I know they <laughs> I fuck, hey, but but to be honest, before we no, get up here, no, like, no, like, no, like I fuck with Vlad actually. Like I, I know with, I know niggas be mad at dude. Yeah. I be like, man, he he created a platform, and my fuckers my fuckers going. I'm yeah. like, when I want to know some shit, I mean niggas seem to be honest on there like a motherfucker. I mean yeah. I, I get it. You don't want to tell you. You want to be you know get Rico charges on your <laughs> yeah. damn just because you got a couple thousand yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for a damn video. For real, but. Yeah. I, I'll give him this. His clickbait be for real. Whatever, whatever it say on the thing is whatever they talking about. For real. I hate. Do I hate fake clickbait? I hate mm-hmm. that shit. I be like motherfucker. Ooh, can I take this back? <laughs> right. Undo. <laughs> undo. Back. Undo. <laughs> backwards. Backwards. No. <laughs> like, God dang it. View, Fuck you, internet. Yeah. I <laughs> Fuck you, internet. <laughs> All right, dog. Yeah. I'm, I'm done. Yeah. Oh, bboyproductions.com. B-boy Dog B. Yeah. Be, be so, hype. Yeah. You gotta put a hyphen on yeah. it. Be hyphen yeah. boyproductions.com. And Doc B M K E dot com. They all go to B Boy Productions. Yeah. Dr. B D O C T O R B M K E dot com. All that shit go to B Boy Productions. B Boy is a beat boy, a B Boy. 50 years of hip hop this year. They said it wouldn't last. That's why I call it B Boy Productions yeah. because I'm hip hop. Even if I'm in a suit or I'm in a, it don't matter. I'm in a hospital gurney. It's still hip hop. You feel it. Yes. You feel it when it, when I walk in. Yeah. Midwest Mixer, because that's the way of saying Milwaukee. Yeah. My side, my side, East Coast, East Coast, West Coast, West Coast, South. Man, what about us? Yeah. So that's why I came up with Midwest Mixer, Dr. Yeah. B. Yeah. Yeah, that's hard. You Good already night. know what the fuck it is, man. <laughs> DJ Jerry, a.k.a. The Voice of the Streets. Jerry, it's that yeah. motherfucker Mixer Trevor's radio, man. Dr. B, man. What's happening? What up, camera lady? <laughs> <laughs>